Um, if you know what we do, uh, we go through it, we talk about it, and I'll be uploading a YouTube video on this. Um, but I obviously need to watch these before I film on them. And I thought, why not just do that on Twitch? And then I upload, you know, this if people want to watch the full thing on Twitch. And then I'm going to do like my condensed like YouTube version of it, which will also upload on YouTube. I just think it's fun. So I hope you're all doing great. Let me make sure that everything looks okay on here. And I'm excited because this episode, from my knowledge, is incredibly, incredibly messy. Whoa, I just dropped my phone. Sorry about that. Um, so, yes, I'm excited. And we're going to get into it. So, I also forget what the categories are. And I forget who won. So, we're going to see. And who knows? Depending on my mood and your mood... After we watch this, maybe we'll do other stuff or maybe we'll just end it at this. I have no idea. If you would have asked me yesterday, what were we doing? I would have said we were watching an episode of Frenemies and going to bed. So I have absolutely no idea where the night is going to take me. We will see. It's a Saturday night, which is definitely a silly night. And I've been so sick with covid that i have not had any fun in a long time um and i have been sick and i haven't been able to drink wine and i'm starting to feel a little bit better and last night was the first night i drank wine in a long time and i've missed it so do i have a glass of red wine beside me yes do i also think that i would be able to get through frenemies if i didn't have a glass of red wine no so Let's get into it. So I'm going to be taking notes on my phone at the same time as we watch this. And let's get into it. So let me know if the audio levels are good. And yes, cheers to episode 15, Steamies. Okay, let's go. We're back. It's 2021. People thought they might not be back for the new year. I I was ready. I, I'm a new Trish this year. I'm really? happy to see you. Exactly. Starting off with new Trish. The crew, mm. the family. I'm just, I'm just happy. So there's no... No drama, no negativity coming from my end. I'm so happy to be here and so blessed and so honored. Oh, thank you. He's killing it. The podcast is killing it. I'm really excited to be part of this family, for real. Wow. Yeah. This is a new year. <laughs> I'm so excited. You know what? I'm really excited to be back. I'm happy to see you. I was writing my notes there that we're starting off with Trisha saying that this is the new Trisha. Do you remember this? Oh, my God. Trisha, this was when it began. For, like, a couple weeks, Trisha was saying that she was, like, this new and improved Trisha, and she didn't like drama, and she didn't... Oh my God, it was so, oh my God, Keeper, hi. Keeper, my amazing mod is here. Oh my God, this was such an annoying era of Trisha where she was like, this is the new, the new era of me. I love everybody, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it was so frustrating. So now we know that this is the new era of Trish and that she loves the H3 family. Love her hair this episode. Yeah, I mean, their outfits here. I mean, Ethan looks great. I love the show we do. It's a, it's just, it's awesome. I mean, look at what we've brought here together. This is amazing. This looks, I mean, you look amazing, let's just say. You look amazing. You look skinny, too. Thank you. I'm afraid to get, I, so I don't know if I lost weight. Trisha always thinks I look skinny. Trisha no, always I don't thinks, always. I, I don't always tell you look skinny. Have you ever showed up and been like, he looks fat today? Um, Be honest. I think you look the same. I never think you yeah. look fatter. Yeah. But there's definitely skinnier. Today. What an uh, interesting start to this episode. So, so God bless you. Uh, I think people don't focus on weight as much as we focus on weight. Like fat people focus more on weight than like other people. Mm. To like Ian, you're probably the same you're like Robocop, but just you're like you know how Robocop when he sees criminals, he like crunches their data. You're like that for fat people. I'm very yeah. Ethan looks good. Ethan looks good. I very like watch what people eat. I'm very just like <laughs> analytical about all that stuff. But you look good. I know Thank you do you. by Thank comparison because my shoulders look fatter than yours today. And therefore, now I need to lose ten pounds before next episode. You think your so you measure it by how fat our shoulders look? But you you don't usually open op wear open shoulder outfits. Um, I do, and I'm usually tanner, so I'm kind of like pale, which makes it look fat, look fatter. I just need to be like this. Yeah, I also just gained weight. We've I just eaten donuts at McDonald's. I mean, one thing I will say is there's like a lot to do with frenemies that people absolutely adored whenever it came to them talking about weight and conversations around food and stuff like that because it very much so was very much so like conversations that people don't like having or conversations that you have behind closed doors or very on the cuff you know conversations about weight and stuff like that 
And I feel that a lot of people were able to kind of find themselves or identify within what Trisha and Ethan were saying um, at times about their weight and their body image. And I feel like that was like a really, I mean, it was a pro and con of Frenemies. Pro was it helped a lot of the audience and con was, you know, it kind of was the downfall of Frenemies that they were almost too honest. So I feel like when it worked, it worked. And when it didn't, it didn't every day so you're living, you're living your best life i'm living my best life for sure i mean like sometimes sometimes i wonder look i'm just gonna make a decision to kill myself by eating mcdonald's mm. and die young and go out doing what i love yeah but bitch i just had a mcdonald's earlier right after my stream yesterday i went and got a mcdonald's breakfast i got two cheesy bacon flatbreads I got four hash browns. I put two of the hash browns in the cheesy flatbreads. Stay with me. And then I got an egg sausage McMuffin, but I halved that and gave that to the dogs. And then I got two Diet Cokes and an orange juice and the the fruit snacks that they do. I was living this morning. I was living this morning. I feel like you have stuff that we don't. Wait, you have no idea what I'm talking about? I feel like the McDonald's menu, by the way, are is so different than like all around the world i'm gonna show you really quick mcdonald's breakfast menu uk i wonder if i could okay i'm gonna pull up okay yes here we go so in the uk this is our breakfast menu and i remember whenever i go to america whether that's new york or la they have different things on their menu so for us this is our breakfast menu i don't know if this is different for people all around the world but whenever i'm ordering from the breakfast menu i really don't like mcdonald's breakfast so i have like a very you know kind of strict regime of what i get i mean their pancakes suck they're they're so bad um but this cheesy bacon flatbread is what i got and i got two of them very delicious and then it's the hash browns that i'll get and then i'll also get uh sausage and egg mcmuffin but my dogs normally eat it i know i really shouldn't be giving them mcdonald's but like just like a little treat just like a little treat dolly eats most of it because bonnie has such a sensitive stomach so Anyways, I'm sure you were absolutely adoring that very intriguing conversation about McDonald's breakfast. Thank you so much for uh, letting me talk about it. Um, but yes, that's what I got this morning. So anyway. I mean, like killing yourself. People say that. Well, like, it people, it's not killing yourself. That we're all killing ourselves by like existing in the world of COVID. Like we're killing ourselves every day by leaving the house. Like, yeah, but that's true. But you, by eating more McDonald's, you increase your chance of death sooner. For sure. And you lower your quality of life, too. Because, like, your thighs are up. You have to hobble around. That's you debatable. Can't My quality of life is better when I eat without those. Let me make really? myself I'm just so happy that So fuck it. Just be a <laughs> monster. Just be it. Just do it. Do you, Moses, do you care if she gains, like, a lot of weight? That's a bad question. You can't answer that. <laughs> he, no, he, like, he also, like, doesn't care. He'll, like, get by me donuts. I'm, like, I'm trying to lose weight. And he'll, I feel like, like Moses is a... Thank you to everyone subscribing and following, by the way. Eat, like secretly a feeder yeah for sure he always invites me down like, i'm going on a diet tomorrow and he's like, so we start with ethan accusing moses of being a feeder towards trisha and trisha says that that is true so i'm writing down in my notes conversation turns to wait uh ethan says moses and trisha are like feeders to each other Great notes for my video here. Got some donuts for you. But like, it's oh. nice. I like when Ela feeds me. Sometimes she forgets. She like forgets <laughs> for a day because Ela like is kind of. She wants the best for me. Right. Yeah. Of course. And so she doesn't enable my eating very much, but sometimes she does, and I'm like, oh, I love you. What do you mean? What's ah, what does that mean? Me. What does that mean though? Like enabling your eating? <clears throat> like she won't. She won't like give me a dirty look because I got a triple cheeseburger <laughs> with bacon and eggs and fucking dog shit. That's not enabling. That's just not being disgusted by your eating. Yeah, yeah. Sunday she's not disgusted by my eating. He enables my eating. Like we'll, we'll we'll have food like five minutes away on post me, and I'll open a bag of chips, and then he'll be like, "Oh, I'll have some too." Instead of being like, "Oh, we're just about to eat," he's like, oh, "I'll have some of those chips too." Like he's very enabling. much that. Enabling is like bringing home, like you said, like donuts, and being like, "Let's go, girl." I mean, there's like a lot of people whose relationships fully surround food as well. I mean, that is a known thing, and that is a really true thing. Oh my god, the little Tyler emote in the chat. There, there very much so is those relationship dynamics that fully revolve around food, and food is basically the only thing that people relate on within a relationship as well. So I'm not saying that that is the case with Trisha. I'm saying that there are relationships like that. I need that. I need <laughs> yeah, but he's supportive when I don't want to eat too. He'll get something gross when I'm like trying not to eat dinner. If I'm trying to like fast, he'll get something like I don't like like shawarma or something. I was like, all right, I won't. You know. Oh, how are you not fat? <laughs> he's gonna be. You're gonna be fat. <laughs> yeah, you are. Moses is gonna get fat as fuck. <laughs> Go. We'll look a little better pictures right now. We're like Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. <laughs> so I feel like eventually <laughs> we'll be similar. Well, Happy New Year's. There's been... Um, New oh, New was this after the New Year? Oh, yeah, they took the break. So this was the 5th of January. Okay, we're back from the break, y'all. 
this happened. First of all, let's explain what we're doing here. My goodness. We're all... Great idea, by the way. Thank I came you. up with. Ian did a great set design. Yeah, they Had they never done that. steamies before yeah, this? Yeah, was amazing. Like, everyone's amazing here. Like, I love, except for, mm. I don't know Zach. I don't, I don't, like, love him, but he lost a lot of weight, so good for him, but I don't know anything about Zach's him. Zach's great, but yeah. What? Yeah. Girl, that's such a weird comment. I don't know Zach, but he lost a lot of weight, so I kind of like him. What? This is so weird. Don't interact with him. Yeah, he's, anyways, but we love everyone here. Except Zach. He's not here. He's part of the H3 podcast. Yes. <clears throat> so, um. <gasps> So such a weird comment today is we are bringing you not the streamies which we all know is a corrupt and ridiculous organization oh my god they were talking about the streamies in in the last episode we watched yesterday oh so this kind of like authentically came from that i mean that's pretty clever oh and then they allowed the break for people to vote okay i see it station they nominate you for the best podcast every yeah, year yeah but they're, they're such such a scam. Are they? Okay. Actually, I have been nominated for best podcast like three years running, but I go and I never win. It's always like, dude, the last guy who won, I never even heard of. But okay, whatever, he could be a big deal. But anyway, um, it's like, why isn't Joe Rogan on it if they're really that legit? Oh well, he's like, like a conservative, right? Like it's probably for liberal people. Just... Liberals only. What kind of award like, show is that? I think that's every award show in Hollywood. Huh. Interesting. I never yeah. thought about that way. <laughs> I'm excited for this award show because I'm actually nominated and hosting. You're nominated several times, I think. But anyway, what we have here today is the steamies, as if to drinking the piping hot steamies. Oh, I, I forget the kind of nominees that, like, what were they being awarded again? It was, like, biggest drama or something. I remember there was a lot of drama within the past six months of people re- you know, p posting this episode, basically saying that there was, like, a lot of insensitive moments. Apparently, they were saying, like, biggest mental breakdown and stuff, which people have a lot of issues with. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this episode has aged. It was not a positive award. I'm aware of that, but, I mean, people find offense in a lot of the the nominees, like, two years on. You know what I mean? It was, like, a steamy dump. Yeah. <laughs> I, that also went through right, my You can think of it either way. It's a steamy dump. <laughs> it's a steamy tea. What it is is the real award show of 2020 that you wish was here, but the streamers are too much cowards to actually cover what matters. I love, yeah, it's like the worst of the worst. We're like rewarding people for being problematic, for keeping us entertained, for keeping us a job. Like, Let's, we wouldn't have the headlines without We wouldn't be here without you folks. That's yeah. true, Trisha. You wouldn't have a job without the drama. I mean, at least you know that. One thing that's also interesting to note is isn't the streamies. The streamies are on YouTube, sponsored by YouTube. So, I mean, this was a risk, like, posting this on YouTube. And, I mean, getting 4.6 million views on it was kind of a boss babe move. Like, for an award show that's housed by YouTube in YouTube, that's a pretty risky move by them. Maybe not now if they're doing it, because, I mean, they're not really that involved in drama anymore. And if they do, they just kind of rehash, you know, frenemy stuff, which, I mean, <laughs> guilty as well. But, like... I feel like doing it back then was like, because there was so much about Frenemies that was so tongue-in-cheek with YouTube guidelines as well, which is fine to acknowledge, but... We need a theme song. The Steamies! Bringing you the steaming turds of 2020, yeah. That's good, that was Thank good. You. And as always, well, not as always, but today we have a sponsor for our Steamy Awards. Oh, yeah, the proud yeah. sponsor of the Steamies yeah. is AdamandEve.com. Adam and Adam and Eve, code Adam50. Don't listen to these bitches. Use my code. My channel's still running. Frenemies no more. Eve, who... Code H3 for 50% off. No, code Adam50. Okay, well, shout out. Code Adam50. Don't listen to these bitches. They're the sponsor of the Steamies. Maybe they'll do it every year for us. Everyone's commenting right, code Adam50. We're working on it. I moved to a new agency and they're working on it. Okay. Anyways, we love but that. You know what's the problem with getting sponsors on this show? It's because usually what they do is they buy like a year worth. Oh. And the thing is, they're like, your show <laughs> could end any time. I, I don't think that's a possibility anymore. I'm, I'm here till the end with you. Like, to the end? Until, like, oh, yikes. That didn't age well. I'm here until the end. Okay, Trisha. Ethan brings up sponsorships, says how hard it is to keep them because of long deals. Trisha says that's no problem. She's here till the end. I mean, she was here until she decided it was the end. Uh, what they're saying about sponsorships is true, by the way. Um, you literally, when you, you know, have these YouTube sponsorships, uh, you're in contracts. So the, the contract, I mean, I can speak from experience my adam and eve contract is um a three month by three month deal i don't know if i can really say that i don't know if that's like you really shouldn't be talking about the kind of the business side of it or whatever um but my contract with adam and eve is three month by three month and after the three month they can drop me if you know it doesn't you know if the deal doesn't you know perform well or it doesn't you know 
resonate with my audience. Um, so basically, it's a way of them protecting themselves money ways as well. Um, so yeah, three month by three month. And after the three months, if you haven't performed to what they deem they have, they've like broken even, then you will um, either get dropped or stay on for another three months. But I know people are in contracts that are like six months and also a year. Um, I've never been in a contract like that. I mean, I can promise you I'm not lying about that. Um, but that, but that is the truth on my Adam and Eve deal. And I would assume that it's the same with them because we have the same guy who, the guy who organized all their deals is the guy that organized mine as well. Um, so you know what I mean? Streamer contracts are pretty much the same. Yeah. They're, I mean, they, they have to have contracts to protect themselves as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I didn't know any of that existed until, you know, I really got in the world as well. Um, but I would say that Adam and Eve are kind of the 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 better ones um, in terms of contracts than any other company. Like, they are very on board with the creator as well and what the creator expects and stuff like that. Whereas I know a lot of companies don't, which is why they're kind of very blissful to work with. Like, you fire me or something. People usually have to, like, dump me, so I'm... Really? Gonna, You're so, clinged on? I'm clinged on. Okay. I'm in, I'm in. Good and now know. I'm in the family, so we're gonna be together Oh, my God, wait. Let me see. So that's another thing. Hold on. There's ways you want to talk about. <laughs> I know. Mm. Oh, my God. Trisha and Moses got engaged. Right? They got engaged on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. Oh, my God. They got engaged on Christmas Day. I remember this. I remember this so so vividly i remember sitting around my christmas tree with my mother and we talked about this i was like my mom was the one who broke the news to me holy shit wow i can't believe that's not the the opening thing they talked about no wonder they were talking about family and you know being a part of it the, they're talking about the fact that she's fucking engaged Why should I do? Oh. so what was, this, what was this like 10 million dollars i mean i've never seen a diamond like that in my life <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy but like that's ridiculous <laughs> like what how many carrots is that nine. how can you who are you why are you buying nine, nine carrots I mean, what? seriously can someone figure out what nine like nine carrots like how much that kind of equates to your mom telling you about the engagement as camp it was i don't understand where moses has money from i don't think i've seen moses work a day in my life this is not even shade i just think like he's an artist but like he's never doing art I feel like the only art he's ever done has been like creating that big ass sofa in Trisha's house. And it's like, is Trisha the one paying ye? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I think, you know what's so great? And I, I've said this before. And it's a real that. diamond or is it like a sarconium, whatever? It's real. Um, no, I always say this, like, don't judge people based on where they live or anything like that. Because like, if I would have judged Moses from like our first meeting, him in this like little tiny makeshift apartment in like this like building in like the ghetto, I would have been like, mm, okay. But he saved his She money. is such... Ugh. They cost anywhere between 20k to 39k based on the quality. Wow. He never buys anything. Nine carats, bro. Did you I, know this motherfucker would buy a nine carat diamond ring? I was, I was, I felt bad when I saw it. I was like, <gasps> like, cause I, he had plans to like renovate his building. And Not like, anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry that you took your renovation <clears throat> Holy money. Holy shit. But you know what it says to me? It says he's invested in our relationship. Cause you know, people yeah. are like, he's using church for money. And I was like, you know what? He put half of the house. He invested in this ring for me. That it's I, a nice, yeah. That's my, you know, it's like the dream. That but, is insane. Yeah, he's, he's. Yeah, so he's very, nine yeah. cards. He's a guy that doesn't spend money on himself. That's the motto of that. You look kind of did that to me. Really? I think so. Because you're kind of like conservative with your money. I just, no, it's not you that I'm cheap. I just don't want to buy stuff. Oh, that's like a dream for like, honestly, yeah. Because if you like to shop, you can't have two shoppers in the family, so. God forbid, two shoppers. Nobody okay. can survive now. Yeah, anyway, no, <clears throat> so you're, you're engaged, by the way, which, which <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about that. But first, let me talk. We have just so much going on so here today. So much show. Uh, we were gone for two weeks, and we're getting overwhelmed here. Let's take a step back. I want to, uh, Ian, can you please announce the, the categories that we'll be celebrating today? <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. Oh, my God. All during, like, peak COVID as well. It's always so crazy to think that that's when Frenemies really was during. It was during, like, peak, peak, peak pandemic. Like, it's so crazy to think about. And I don't know about you, but as much, you know, as my opinions have fluctuated on both Trisha and Ethan, I don't think I would have got through the pandemic without frenemies. And I feel like a lot of people relate on that, whereas it was it was so chaotic. It was so 
intense that it really was a distraction from real world drama that we were talking about such meaningless you know trisha and ethan fighting with each other like we don't know these people why do we give a shit about them fighting but it was it was almost the most exciting thing in the world because we were so overwhelmed with news about the world um that it was nice to like hear about something else well, I can't speak for anyone here, but like that's how I always felt with it. Hey, you want you want the first one now? Now, Ian, as you'll notice, is wearing a space aged COVID mask. Ian had COVID. He's recently got over it. He doesn't have COVID. He oh. tested negative. He had COVID. Like, um, how long ago did you? Uh, get it was your... A little over a month ago when I got the diagnosis. Whoa. He's good, but he was really sick for a while. Oh. And so we put on the space age helmet, not because he's actually <laughs> contagious, but just because I thought it would be funny. I don't believe that. I feel like you think he might still be contagious. So you're like, put a helmet on Ian. Well, we, make it part of the show. Well, the truth <laughs> is, this is some weird GoFundMe that we bought like, like, a seven, months like seven months ago for like 250 bucks. It's so ghetto. It's supposed to have like a fan with a battery. It doesn't work. Show them the glove. The they have, glove. They have gloves so you can itch your face. It's just, <gasps> yeah, itch your face for us, Ian. I hate when white people use ghetto as like, using it in the context that both trisha and ethan have used it in the past like 30 minutes it's just so irritating trisha being like moses lived in like in basically just like the ghetto and then ethan saying you know the costume's so ghetto it's like oh my god i i remember even growing up in school and kind of our teachers teaching us to like not use that word for like the way that you know people like to use it and it's kind of always been instilled in me so whenever i see how much people use it as just like an adjective i'm like what? Wow. It's hard to see because it's so glossy. Well, put your hand in the glove. <laughs> Go ahead. That looks cool. Is this not the best award show, folks? I mean, we're pulling all this stuff. That's amazing. All right, Ian's, Ian's trying his best to get his hand in that glove, but it's not. It's yeah, people are agreeing easy. with me. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Wow, wow what a spot. Wow, that was so Only cool. Only here on the 2020 <laughs> Steamies, everybody. You know, this is meant to prevent you from getting sick, but it's like a COVID simulator. I feel like I still have it. Really? Like I can't breathe. I'm tired. Oh. It's hot. You have a fever. <laughs> yeah, please. Re- what categories do we have here today that we're celebrating? Please, Ian, go ahead. All right. We, we've got a little presentation to show. Because... Okay, what we're going to do, by the way, is we are going to guess who we think won after they announce each nomination. And I think it's going to be so interesting to, um, like, hear like what was the drama in 2021 i feel like i know off the top of my head but like so they did this in three days the h3 crew did this in three days it's amazing well, no we've been working on this no he's a saturday he put no. these videos biggest, videos. biggest covid idiot well, ian did ian you did biggest covid i'm trying to think of who like the nominees i think like were tana james nikita um the demilio sisters laray I think that that was the people that would be nominated. I think that that... Proved it. No, I'm saying who was nominated. Like, who I think was nominated. Praise be to the crowd. This is amazing. Go ahead. Oh, we have, we're going to do the categories? <clears throat> God, I, I just... There's so much to talk about. So wait, let's talk about your engagement before we do that. I thought we should do this category. Okay. Oh my God. Everyone's like, what is this show? It's such a mess. <clears throat> oh my God. I thought we were getting to the categories. I uh, propose to you. I definitely wasn't expecting it because I was stressed as... Oh my God. People thought I was like in blackface that day because we had a shoot... Yeah. From, oh, was that the Jasmine thing? Yeah, yeah. I, but also we were dressed as Jasmine Jafar, which is like the bad guy from the movie, and she's like a slave to him in that oh, outfit. Oh, I thought you were Aladdin. No, but do I... Do you guys do Daddy Dom shit? You do, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. But are, you, more... is, are, you dom, are you submissive or dominant? No, of course I'm uh, submissive. Oh, you are. Abba, I'm Tinoke. Tinoke. Oh, my God, that's so <laughs> crazy. Anyways, um, no, it definitely... Abba's daddy, or dad in Hebrew. And Tinoke is baby girl. Gross. Anyways, um, I don't yeah, need to hear about so, this. Yeah, we I had this shoot plan for a while, and I just I got a really crazy spray tan the day before, and so well, it, I don't know. I guess he just knew that I wanted to be glam, so he thought me as Princess Jasmine was like my glam, but that was actually a cosplay. That's not me glam. Oh, so were you a little upset that he proposed then? <laughs> no, I definitely wasn't upset. I was so excited. I just was like, I you're like not now. <laughs> I was like, wait, <laughs> I have a fat belly. My belly was out. I was like, oh my god, he's putting me to the side, and I have a fat belly, and I'm just like, oh no, and my nails were broken because I had video shoots the day before, so my nails were like short. But you didn't know that he was... Oh my god, so unbelievably high maintenance. Unbelievably high maintenance. I finally got the emote. I'm, I'm hopefully adding other ones. I have like a bunch that I'm trying to add, but I'm just like waiting for them to be um, approved. Thank you, Junkie. No, I would have got my nails done. Like I was... Yeah. I was. The video was really nice. 
Yeah. I wonder if we should watch it. It was really sweet. I think I don't know how many people have seen it. It was really beautiful. You were yeah. you were you were so very happy and it was a very joyous video. I was very shocked for like so many reasons. One, we just got this house, so I literally did not think he was gonna like get a ring. Like that was the commitment for me. So I was like, we probably won't have a ring for a couple months, maybe. It's not even our one year anniversary yet. So I'm like, maybe our one year anniversary, like March fifth, like fourteenth. And... It's always so crazy oh. to me when couples get engaged before they've even been together for like one year. Like getting engaged before the one year mark is 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 definitely it definitely always I'm like wow wow okay all right okay you guys will be together for a year in March yeah we met wow, for time time that's crazy so I just wasn't expecting it but I was really happy like the first thing he said too was like I called your dad which was so crazy because like who needs to call like my dad and that's my dad was so happy. Not any guy. Any guy I've dated has met my dad once. Only once. Moses has met him a multitude of times. They talk all the time. Like, they like he loves Moses. Like, and he said they talked for, like, an hour. And really? Wow. Look he's at like, that. my dad, you're, I called your dad. I was like, how did you get his number? Like, anyways, it's so complicated. And then he was like, he's like, he's, he said, he's, he's so happy and blah, blah, And I was like, oh, my gosh. So then I was, like, crying to that. And then I was crying because he was proposing. And I was like, oh, my God. I can't believe this is happening. And then what about when you saw the ring? Oh, my God. I lost it. I mean, that was... To me, like, I don't, I think that's why I'm so happy. Like, I, like, nothing bothers me with him anymore. I'm just like, the ring. Oh. You're like, dude, whatever. <laughs> nothing bothers me with him anymore because she got a nice ring. You got a good one, Moses. You got a good one. You got a good one. That's crazy to say. If my partner ever said that about me, I would be livid. I would be livid if my partner said that about me. Like, I can do no wrong, finally, because I got them a nice ring. Everyone's saying that Trisha was the one that bought the ring. <laughs> Whatever is wrong with you, just talk to the ring. I can't believe Holy this. Shit. I, like, we looked up, like, J-Lo's to Ben You get a mortgage on your, uh, on your uh, place? He became a diamond broker. He went to the blood diamond? <laughs> Probably. No. Um, uh, no, but, like, honestly, like, I look at it, like, we looked at J-Lo and Ben Affleck's, like, ring, and it was only, like, five or six carats, and this was, like, a nine oh, carat. Oh, losers, idiots. No halo, either. Like, I, I always, no, no shade to anyone who has a halo, but I'm like, ugh, I hate, like, engagement rings with halo, so I thought he might get Wait, what's a halo? The halo is, like, the little diamonds around it. <clears throat> oh, make it a little wait, better. she was like, oh, I, it didn't matter what ring I was gonna get, blah, 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 but now she's like, oh, like, we got this, like, really rich one. Didn't she literally say that she didn't want that or she wasn't expecting that? And I mean, not to bring it back to the fact that the times that this was uploaded in was like peak pandemic, people losing their jobs, losing their houses and stuff like that. It's like crazy to me that this is like such a normal conversation. Pathetic. It's not pathetic. It's but... just bloody and bullshit. <laughs> no, but can I just tell you, like, he cost, he designed it, but I had shown him, like, a dream <clears throat> ring of mine that looked just like this, and when I saw that he, like, and I showed him maybe once, so, like, the fact that he remembered, like, one time when I was probably, like, high or something, I was like, Because you would break oh, up wow. with him if he didn't get it. She's like, I can't believe he remembered. Bitch, you would literally break up with him if he didn't get what you wanted. That was really cool. I, like, because yeah, it's forever, you know, and it fit my fat fingers. He was so he's so smart because he always listened to me. I'd go into like stores and try on rings and they would never have my size and they would like measure. And... Way to go, Moses. So, well, was... I gotta say that I am very happy. I'm very excited. Really, Ethan? Really, Ethan? It's so crazy that you're gonna be my sister in law. I know. We're like actually family now. That's so crazy. And you're invited to the wedding. We already planned the wedding date. I want the day, so we already have them planned. Oh, Ethan's invited to the wedding. You're invited to the wedding, Ethan. And, like, That's so weird. Yeah. Oh, you, you have a date? Yeah, like we have three because we have LA, Israel, and Maui for real. So we have the three dates. Why LA, you? Israel, and Maui. All right, well, the Maui one didn't happen. The LA one, or no, wait, sorry, the Maui one did happen. The LA one happened. The Israel one didn't happen. Um, because he's never been, and we watched an Adam Sandler movie called Just Go With It, and he got married at this hotel in Hawaii, and so now I want to get married. Just Go With It is one of the worst movies of all time. It's the one with Jennifer Aniston, right? And I love a Jennifer Aniston movie. And I know to go into it not expecting a lot at all. But that one was one of the worst. But who's going to go to Maui? Like our family. Like you guys. The immediate family. I'll come to Maui. Yeah. It'd be like my, like, it'd oh, be Ethan, like, don't make people. false promises, so babe. Like, I was already at two of them because I'm going to have to go to Israel and LA. Right. So LA will be over like So I'm going to have to go to three yeah. fucking weddings. Yeah. Two of them destinations yeah. for you guys. Jesus, there he is complaining about having to go to three weddings. Little does he know he'll be going to none of them. That's You're Albert. bougie though. Like, well, yeah. You know, but who else could do that? My family. Really? Yeah. So we're gonna all be having fun. Damn, like crazy. it's gonna be, you know, like I think it's gonna be so much fun. Like Shane will probably be like my best man, so like they'll come over. Like it'll be like Oh, that'll fun. be nice. Yeah. Shane will be her best man. <laughs> oh Shane will be her best man. Oh Trishy, Trishy, Trishy. Trishy, Trishy, Trishy. You know nothing. Yeah, it's gonna be like Oh, I'm so excited because we'll probably get like married in like Jaffa, which is like the old like city. And we're gonna have like Aladdin and Jasmine themed like. Don't fucking no, do no, that. No, 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 like white and gold, like pretty, like classy. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no, Moses, no, don't allow that. Get married at the end of the movie. You can't go to Jaffa and get married as Jasmine and Aladdin. That's crazy. <laughs> it was themed esque. Like, You're not gonna allow that, right? You don't know what we're talking about. 
like it's like the one they get married at the end. They have white and gold outfits, and it's inspired by that. It's not like Aladdin. And You're not going to be on tan face. No, I'm not going to be in black hair. Like, right. <sighs> well, I did want to read. There was one congratulatory tweet that I thought was funny. Oh no. That I thought wanted to read right off the top. <clears throat> Keemstar had a congratulations for both of us. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. What did Keemstar say? Ironically, Keemstar had a better chance of being invited to the wedding than Ethan by the time the wedding came around, which is the the, the most ironic part about all of this. Trisha and Keemstar got closer than what Trisha and Ethan did because she was doing that to spite him. So. <clears throat> oh, sweet. He said, Ethan Klein, he misspelled my name. He does? My last name, K-L-I-E-N. Mm-hmm. For someone who's thinking about me on Christmas. Oh, by the way, he sent this tweet on Christmas morning. <laughs> that, he's on the East Coast, so he sent this tweet at 12 o'clock Christmas day. <laughs> With his family, he's sitting around drinking Aww. eggnog. The fire's crackling. He's with his daughter, and he goes, mm, "He's like, oh, Ethan." It's actually he's really like, funny. Oh. How weird to be, like make my proposal like about you then, and yeah. also like tweet that. I was like, yeah. "Oh, that's kind of weird." But he goes, "Ethan Klein has had the worst year ever. <laughs> One, he lost subs. <clears throat> I don't know. What he's talking about so with that. On uh, Street? Yeah, I feel like you got game subs on here. Yeah, we had a great year. Mm-hmm. Lost sponsors. Mm. Okay. That's true. True. <laughs> lost respect. I mean, we could debate that. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Well said. Gained weight. True. Lost weight. No, now you. Well, lost overall, like, I did gain a lot of weight. Mm. But I think it's funny for him to attack me on that because, like, I started antidepressants and I'm working on all this stuff. And you gain a lot of weight when you take antidepressants, or some people do. My mm. fat ass did. He's also super fat and short. So. Yeah, he's fat. Oh my god. He's freak. When I went for him, I came for his fatness. Like, fat people can go for his fatness. I'm like, you're also a fat. Take it from one fat idiot from another. You're, you're fat. 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 <laughs> Uh, what episode and- of Frenemies was Trisha like? Well, you're fat. Fat, fat, fatty. What episode was that? What episode was that? Well, you're fat. Fat, fat, fatty. It doesn't bother me. Fat, how do you like it, fatty? Well, Who the, remembers that episode? The, uh, the perfect uh, number five was now Trisha Paytas is his sister in law. I legitimately feel sorry for him. He's so jealous. He's so jealous of that. Dude, Ke- Keemstar would. Keemstar would. Castrate himself for a chance to be with you. I get a feeling. <laughs> no, for sure. I've not met him at parties. He's definitely like, mm. I know he's a guy of like years old girls, but like, you know, people always say that and they always try and like fuck you and you're like, okay. Well, just... Here's another one of Trisha saying that everyone wants to fuck her. Why well, you think every dude who you ever meet wants to fuck you? I think it's dude like Game Star. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. You, you know they do when you like like reject it and then they're like, oh, she's so gross when she's like, yeah, yeah. Bro, I would never fuck her. It's like they say that when they get rejected. So like, that's how you know. Otherwise, people would never say I that. I do feel like Game Star legit wants to fuck you. For sure. Because yeah. a normal guy. That, like, doesn't want to fuck me or not trust me, whatever, be like, she's such an ugly bitch. Like, only guys who, like, got rejected say that. No, like, normal guys. Right, wait, right, let me post right, on right, Instagram, right, right. by the way, that I'm live. Hold on. So, wait, let me go. Oh, fucking dumbass phone. Apple. Like, Logan Just Paul would never be like, she's an ugly bitch because he's like, I obviously like, would never fuck that girl because right. there's different leagues. But Keem is so, like, mad that I've, like, rejected him. And... So, you rejected Keemstar? For sure. He's definitely been, like, weird at parties. Like, For I'm sure, she says. <laughs> met him like twice in person and yeah. yeah and i think it was just i don't know i think he what did you say i honestly can't remember because i was with my ex-boyfriend at the time tell me about so you were together with somebody and yeah. Star came up to you at a party was he drunk um i think so and was, what did he say what was his demeanor you just give me details as much as you can remember i can't really because i don't want to get it like off like i don't want to mess anything oh up. my god this is another this is literally the fact that i know that ethan's feeding into this because keemstar and ethan blah 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 but the fact that literally Ethan is now feeding into Trisha doing what she does against Ethan to someone else is so annoying. Like, this is literally the the trope of people want to, you know, sleep with me, blah, 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 blah. Like, or you liar anyway, so care, say whatever you want. I know, but I try to be credible. I'm a new Trish. Like, I'm trying to get out of it. She tries to be credible. <laughs> I'm a new girl. I'm a new woman. I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm engaged. I'm happy. Um, just, I don't know. Just, I feel like he's very touchy with people. I saw him touchy with, like, a little yeah. violet, and he's very just touchy. Yeah. And, like, with me, Can you imagine? Touchy, Can you start I'm... touching you? I feel like you would, like... I feel like your arm would turn black wherever he touched you. <laughs> um, he was fine. He's just really unattractive in person, and that's it. I mean, there's no shade. Oh I'm not, not the most attractive person, you know. But. Well, anyway, he said, Ethan, if you see this, I hope you have a much better 2021. And I'll say that the fact that my brother-in-law and Trisha are engaged is a great way to start oh. the year. I know that he was saying that because he was trying to, like, one-up Keemstar being like, I'm actually really happy about this engagement. But we know deep down, not even deep down, just, like, service level. The tears are coming. I love you both, and I'm just very happy and excited for the future that you guys hold. So oh, baby. Baby, 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 baby. If only you knew. Congratulations, Moses. Great job. You pulled out all the stops. God damn, oh, dude. God. You, so... you know how I proposed to Ela? How? Not as good as this motherfucker. <laughs> What'd you do? It's actually, it's so embarrassing. You're going to get mad at me if I tell you. No, tell me. I need to know this. <clears throat> we were in Mexico. My parents lived there. Ew. And I was always planning to get married to Ela, but I was with my mom. We are staying with my parents. <clears throat> You were with your mom? 
But yeah, that sen sentence came out awfully. So annoying. She goes, you have to propose to her. You have to get married now. And she starts like putting all this crazy pressure on me and she gives me like one of her old, this, how did I succumb to this? <laughs> why would she get you to get married? You're so young. Well, we had been together for a while. I don't know why. Okay. But anyway, anyway, <clears throat> like we had already been together for like four years or something. So she's like, you better keep her or she'll like leave you. Which I can't my, mo my mom was like, like, yeah, that was what kind of what my mom was like. She's going to leave you. I was like, she ah. wouldn't, yeah. <laughs> and so, dude, I, honestly, how do I even say, tell this without? What? Uh, you were on the toilet? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> you or her? So I took the ring. Uh-huh. That my mom gave me, I put it in a bag of baby wipes, and I put and I put it by the bed, and I was on the toilet pretending to poop, and I said, "You." No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh lord! You grabbed me the baby wipes. No. And then. Oh, this is cute. Really? Is this real? That's cute. This is cute. That's very you. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. And so I said, like, can you grab me this the baby wipes? This is disgusting. Wipes? So she brought the bag of baby wipes over and I said, like, can you pull one out for me? And the ring was in the bag of no. baby wipes. Yeah. You know what I hate? I, and I mean, no shade to anyone who, who's here that maybe had an engagement like this. But my least favorite kind of proposal, number one, is public proposals. I really don't like them. Where it, like, involves the, the, the public. I really don't like that. This is like for me, I would never, I would never say yes to one of two proposals. Number one, if my partner did it in front of everyone and it became this public ordeal because you're trying to basically get me to say yes. So I'm not doing that. Number two, something like this. I wouldn't say yes to a proposal where I have to like go and find the ring myself or I'm the first one that discovers the ring. I think, how, how hard is it to literally just, even if you want to be super lazy, hand the ring to your partner? Like, you, you present your partner with the ring. You don't make them go and fucking find it themselves. Excited? She, yeah, no, she was so, I mean, like, we talked about it. She knew we were going to get married, but right. she was most, like, I think she was, like, oh, confused. Thank you, Rye the Bull, for subscribing. Yeah. We're getting videos already? Yeah. So maybe, yeah, you should have done something more creative. You put effort into your videos. That wasn't then. the vibe, though. Back then, it wasn't the vibe to be, like, cute. It was all just, like... You want to be gross? Yes. Okay. No, I didn't film it or anything. That was just... I just decided in the moment, like, I'm going to propose to Hila, and I'm just going to try to make a joke. Maybe she'll... Because it's the last place thing she's going to expect is a ring in the back That's of baby wife. yeah. And so what happened then? Did you guys take pictures? Like, did they come in, your parents, and, like, take pictures? And no. Parties? There's no... Nothing to commemorate it. Nothing. The That's There's so nothing. sad. Yeah, That's so sad for Hila. I mean, if she loved it, then great. But I mean, this, that's such a piss proposal. That is such a piss pro proposal. The ring was trash. Did you upgrade since? So Eva, had, she bought an engagement ring when we were in Mexico for like a, it was just a really sweet, cute little ring. It was only like a hundred bucks. Wait, you didn't pick out the ring? We went and picked it out together. But then you got it and surprised her. No, she, we bought it on the spot. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cute. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's it. Um, and how many carrots? Carrots, it's like a hundred dollar ring. Oh, it was a hundred dollars. Yeah. And you never upgraded? That's, never. Up that's cute though. I think that's cute. I think. I like cute. the ring. It's just yeah. like a little red stone and a oh. gold band. Oh. <sighs> Listen, I would honestly love like a a thrifted, you know, engagement ring. It's not about the money or anything like that, but it's about the fact when when you're like, I just think it's so weird for your like your proposal to be lazy, like for your proposal to be lazy. It's like such a special moment. Like that's crazy. That's crazy. Like humble our, our med, our yeah, we were not rich at the time by any Aww. means. And by the way, you don't have to be so rich. So good, right? I mean, the marriage is working. That's amazing. And you guys are like <laughs> balling, which goes to show once again, it's all about showing off your wealth and whatever like that. Like I feel like I spend way more. Like people think I'm like richer than I am because I spend so much. So people are like, wow, she's balling. Like it's like, yeah, I make a lot of money, but I also like spend a lot. You guys have it like in the bank, set for life. Like that's better. You would be too if you didn't have like ten seventy thousand dollar burkas. Right. Well, I don't think it's right. better. You know, <laughs> I like flashy. I like to live my life. If I could die tomorrow, so I like to live my life. But at the same time, there's something to be said about, like, being humble and saving money. Like, that's cute, too. Thank you. But I will say, once my... Trisha says, there's something about being humble and not spending money. Please. Dog shit. That's what I act. I'm getting a Rolls Royce. Are you? Well, I don't know. I don't want this weird Rolls Royce life that you have. Like, well, you get into weird... Your life is so weird. Oh, my God. He ends up getting weird. one with anyway, Trisha. So that's, that was that. Congratulations. He ends up getting the frenemies color. You guys, I'm so happy, and I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm very, I'm very happy. It fills me with joy to see you guys both so happy. I'm so excited the wedding. It's like clout. 
Yeah, about no, I'm kidding. We were going to come. I was just going to. Did Trisha just say I'm so excited to have you come to the wedding because of the clout? Yikes. We were beefing. I was like, That's we can't make joke. it. Oh my gosh. And his family was happy. His whole family was very happy over in Israel. Like, everyone Shane is more clout than us. Shane is like, um, mega neither of y'all are going. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We gotta just get the most clout we can. Have you got any clout coming to the wedding? House? Jesus. And the wedding had probably one of the least amount of like. Like, a lot of people didn't even know that Trisha got married. Because there was no one of excitement there. The most high profile wedding guest that Trisha had was Dakota Petas. Who didn't even show up? He's, he's got some private. He's got some private clout. Let's go. Dude. Trisha literally replaced Ethan, Ela, Shane, Ryland's chairs with fans. Like she literally invited fans to the wedding, and they showed up, and like her dancers and makeup artists and stuff. Cloudy. No, he's not cloudy. Yeah. If, if his cloud comes, it's gonna be cloud city. He's so got, need a smaller he's wedding. He's got more cloud than we do. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is bouge. <laughs> okay, so anyway, yada yada yada. You guys got married or proposed. Kim was a douche. Okay, let's do the award show. Woo! Sorry, <clears throat> Adam and Eve. Code Adam thirty. B. All right. Toy for um, pooping. I don't know about that, but why can't you poop on your partner? Um, I think just like filming it. I don't know. Filming it. I think it's probably a health hazard. Cause you can pee on your partner. I've seen that plenty in porn. Um, Where did this come from? Porn sites like built like Visa. Pee? Yeah. Yeah, because Visa will, like, take away... Like, porn have bad issues with Visa's that. Visa's like, eh, 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 no being. <laughs> we crossed the line. Did I say yeah. Adam 30? No way I said Adam 30. I meant Adam 50. Adam 50. Adam 50. It's Adam 50. Thank you, Mary, for subscribing. I appreciate that, babe. Um, Code Adam 50, not Adam 30. Sorry. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Porn has done all the amateur videos. Yeah, I heard about that. They took it all, all away everything. Great. I'm so glad because people re-uploaded yeah. it all down now. But that that's actually good because I heard that they had a real problem with like underage and weird, all kinds of weird, mm -hmm. really messed up stuff there. So that's great that they that they did that. I think I so fantastic. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's, <laughs> it's such a right. scummy company, the one they're currently talking about. So. What's our first? Uh, what's our first category? Covid idiot, right? It's our biggest covid idiot. Biggest Finally. Idiot. Starting off with a bang. This was my favorite. This was a good category. Great title. Whoever thought of this. this was Thank amazing. you very much. Mm -hmm. Biggest COVID idiot of 2020. Let's review the nominees, please. Biggest COVID idiot. Addison. <laughs> oh, Addison. Addison. Nikita. Wait, by the way. Comment down below who you think won. Higher thing. <laughs> so we can give it up to Miss Nikita Dragon for that party, I guess. Tana Mojo. Tana Mojo. Oh, it's so funny because today Tana was literally on the H3 show. Sorry. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. So I went COVID-19 test and it actually came back positive. I don't really give a fuck, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but that's so shocking to say. James Charles. Oh my god, this was the era that I was like, I hated James the most. Oh my god, seeing him at these parties was just infuriating. Charles, oh, I don't deliver any tea. I drink coffee. Oh, the Demilio uh -huh. parents. Demilio so, parents. Heidi and Charlie, Charlie Dixie and Noah Beck decided to go on a year end trip to the Bahamas. Charlie and her sister have both been ignoring this whole situation. Jake Paul. Hosting a house party over the summer. Oh my god, the Jake Paul house parties. Official COVID 19 warnings at uh, large gatherings. Uh, <laughs> oh, mama. Not the, not the quote from him. Okay. Who do I think won? Addison Ray, Nikita Dragon, Tana Mojo, Logan Paul, James Charles, D'Amelio, Jake Paul. I feel like Nikita won. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Thank you, Ian. Oh my God. Now, in this envelope, we have the biggest COVID idiot. Now, if you guys are wondering how the votes were tallied, we put out a anonymous form on Twitter and we had over 45,000 votes cast. Wow. Now, I do not even know the winners. This was cast anonymously, filled out by Ian. So I'm very excited. What is your feeling on who is going to be the biggest COVID idiot oh of 2020? I, like, I, I feel like she's going to say the Demilios because she had like a real stick up her ass about the Demilios because they were more popular than her during this era. They still are. No, but... I know. They're actual murderers. Like, James Charles was like 
the most likable in those clip. I was like, oh, James isn't bad compared to these right. idiots. Well, and then there's one who wasn't even on the list where uh, FaZe Banks and the FaZe Clan had, like, this huge banger that was just... Ugh. These people are psychotic. It's, like, it's so psycho. It's un- and people are wondering if Addison Rae is still relevant. Yeah, she is. I was like, just the cockiness. I don't give a fuck. Like, She's yeah. doing a music the career now. The thing is my favorite because he didn't know he's being filmed. Jake. No, that was Logan who was like, I don't really give a fuck. And I was like, oh, true colors oh, come I out. Thought it was, I thought we had Jake twice. Oh, that's Logan. Yeah, that was Logan. Oh, that's so sad. And I was like, hey, I was hanging out with you all week, and I have COVID, just so you know. He's like, I don't really give a fuck. I was like, dude, what the fuck's wrong they with you? They both deserve to be canceled, because he also, like, kicked his dog off a boat earlier this year. like he last year. Yeah, and, like, for, like, a thing, you could see someone pushing the dog off. Like, that should be canceled. Like, you're being an... Oh, I... So ugh. who, in your opinion, oh, is the biggest bad. COVID idiot, if you can take a guess? Um, I'm going to just go ahead and go with... I would personally vote Nikita. I did vote, and I voted for Nikita because she just keeps throwing parties, never wearing masks, in elevators with people not wearing masks. I feel like Nikita deserves to win. Nikita was doing, like, the dragon fucking bash parties, remember? Like, nonstop. I voted for Jake Paul Mm -hmm. because he threw a bunch of parties, and he also is infamous for saying uh, COVID is a hoax, which we love. So, do we have a drum roll? Do we have some kind of uh, suspense? Who won? Uh, Okay, I didn't vote. And the winner for biggest COVID-19 2020 is... Jake Paul! Oh, Jake won. Congratulations. Cancel him forever. We have uh, the the breakdown. Jake Paul won with 41%. That's a resounding victory. 41%. Tana was in second with 24%. Mm. James, Nikita, D'Amelio, and Logan Paul. Tana second. We had some write-ins, wow. actually. Noticeable write-ins. <laughs> okay. Addison Ray and Bryce Hall and our very own Ian the intern with two votes. Uh-huh. Ian decided to play. <laughs> two votes. Did that hurt? It, it stung a little, but probably well-deserved. Aww. <laughs> Poor Ian. Well, congratulations. And we have, I think we have an award for Jake as well, right, that we'll be sending to him. We'll be mailing Well, this. he moved to Miami, so thank God. We got well, the COVID we'll, yet. We'll find him, and, and does this have his name engraved? His name engraved. Yeah, we're, we're, oh, right. Oh. So Jake Paul, we're oh, That award is so cute. Look at that. The team did such a good job with this. Engraved? That's a cool award. What's with the pink cup? Just because we're it's king? steamy. Just because it's oh, oh, the tea. Okay. Yeah. Cute. So Jake, and it's $8. I see it's still on here, so okay. we're making big investments. We should take a dump on it. Oh, my God. I think little. these are the ones that you buy on Hollywood Boulevard. On Hollywood Boulevard, there are a bunch of shops that sell, like, um, these awards. Not like this, but they're, like, the statues. I think that's what that is, because I think they were $8. Steamy in there. <laughs> steamy. So, Jake Paul, uh, biggest COVID idiot, idiot, 2020, we're going to be sending this to you. Congratulations. He's the worst. Thank you. He might be the worst, actually. Yeah, I, I really dislike him, so thank you. Okay, Ugh. that was fantastic. Our next category. Wow, this is so much fun. fun. Is this fun. not exciting? I never saw those clips. Like, ew. People should yeah. look at those and be like, these people don't deserve their $8 million houses. You know what I mean? Like... I just wish, Ugh. I mean, I don't have to say what someone deserves no, or not, but I, deserve I, just, I just wish that you would just Jake stop being such a selfish Jake. fuck. Jake. Damn, what's happening? Good morning, Conor McGregor. I'm not probably being an old dude to the bar. AB you, is notorious <laughs> for playing sounds in the background <laughs> while the show's going. I don't give a fuck shit. That's like so, like, I hope, I don't know what shit. I hope someone he knows gets COVID because it's like the worst thing to deal with. But you know what? The fact that they don't even care, like, they wouldn't no, even it's, care. It's, it's like, so psychotic. Right like, like, you're in L.A. where there's no hospital beds. If people get strokes and heart attacks, you can't even go to the hospital. Like, you had to drive your mom to Orange County. Yeah, they're, like, evil. That's, like, evil. That's, like, an evil person, and I don't like that. There you go. Like, Nick Jake Paul. An idiot. James is an idiot. Congratulations. Nick, Logan, you suck. Pound it for the idiots. Hate them. Sorry, my big ring. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like dude, this. <laughs> dude, you could kill someone with that thing. <laughs> Just fucking carved this in the earth with that. <laughs> next, Alrighty, category. next category. Again? Uh, it's Biggest Clout Goblin. Biggest Clout. Biggest Clout Goblin. Okay, let me write this down. Biggest clout goblin. My God, I can't even begin to imagine what the category or the contender. Wait, what's that word I'm thinking? Contenders are goblin. I was thinking now, of chicken what we tenders. Mean by clout goblin is just. I'm not really quite sure what it means, but I feel like you know what it means. A clout goblin. For sure, you can just picture the clout it's goblin. It's someone that that's just world. right who's just hungry for clout and they're willing. To- Trisha better have been nominated for this one. Like. Seriously, Trisha better be awarded for this one. To associate and do anything to get the limelight, to get attention. Literally, yeah, Trisha. Not even being like, they're so disingenuous about it. They just like are so obvious about it. Like you're gonna hang out with a 16 year old when you're up. Mm. You know what I mean? That's like a clout. Oh, about really go, like, I think I know who you voted for. <laughs> well, let's see your nominees, Dan, or not Ian, or AB, whoever's doing it. Biggest cloud goblin. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Oh my God! This Conor McGregor video. I talked about it. I made a video responding to this amount of videos that he was posting about Conor McGregor and my video got taken down by YouTube for hate speech whereas Jake Paul's video was trending number one on YouTube so it just goes to show the favoritism with creators because you're sick of fucking your wife I mean she's a four counter you can do a lot better but happy Monday Dixie D'Amelio Dixie? Dixie? Nah, you really want to collab with me. Trippy Red on a song 
Would be very cool. Dixie D'Amelio is one of the most fucking gut-wrenchingly boring people of all time. Sorry. I didn't mean for that little outburst, but like, sh oh my god, just like, so, ugh, so mind-numbingly boring. No hate. I'm pretty sure we're the same age. Hi, sister Charlie. Oh, yeah, hi, nice to meet you, too. So she's kind of the star of all this, brought everything together. Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne. Not Bella Thorne. What the fuck's Bella Thorne doing on here? We care about Bella Thorne? $1 million in 24 hours on OnlyFans, causing new restrictions in the way the app works for us. Oh, my God, the Bella Thorne OnlyFans thing. Dude. Dude. The OnlyFans thing was crazy. If people don't know, basically, oh my god, how did I even explain this? It's been so long. Oh my god, this is Balthorn. I was, it, she's cropped. Oh my god, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck, what happened again? She like something about like so much money. Rules were changed. Oh my god, what happened? Bitch, someone better fucking tell me in the chat. Because you know that I know, but you know that I don't know that much. Fuck, what was it? She, like, did something about DMs or something where you had to, like, spend money and then didn't fulfill it or something. And then it changed the rules forever because OnlyFans paid too much money to Bella Thorne and then they had no more money to give to other creators or something like that. She broke the app and actual creators were getting underpaid because of her. I think that's, like, the... Didn't she post, like, a photo of her in messages? No, that was... Uh, what's she called? Oh, what's she called? Gabby DiMartino. That's who it is. Anyways. I think Bella Thorne wins this one. Big Ed. It's a, it's a Not Big Ed. Big Ed. It prevents me from getting you pregnant. Why you not tell me last night? <laughs> I didn't know how. Austin McBroom. <laughs> not Austin. Okay. <laughs> Ew, Chris. I know. Yeah. James, James Chung. James, of course. I reached out to some of my favorite celebrities and asked them to recommend a product for a makeup routine. Miss Gigi Hadid, Miley Cyrus. I thought it would be cute to DM Miss Rosalia, Miss Alexa Dewey, Rhea Or. I thought that I would DM somebody very much. Chill. Daddy, chill. Selena Gomez, Doja Cat, J-Lo, Emily Kamachowski, Cardi B, Miss Naomi Campbell. He really thinks he's all that. Oh my god, not Selena. Hi, neighbor. This is so cute. I would love to participate. I'm going to FaceTime you quickly. No, Selena, don't do it. Wow. Okay, who do we think wins? I think Bella Thorne takes this one. Austin is like an overwhelmingly dish, but I feel that Bella Thorne like permanently affected OF. Ew. Ew. That's one video of James Harlow. I was like, ew. Yeah, that was gross. That was so I have here the winner of Biggest Clout Goblin. Now, I myself voted for James Charles because obviously. obviously his association with like a 16 year old girl who's just super popular. Yeah. And I get the sense he's really. Oh my goodness. His association with 16 year old girls? Mama. More of that to come. Just using him, her to. If it, to rejuvenate his career. Yeah. Did you see that clip of like him with Shane like praising how much he loved the Shanae character that was like he said was ghetto and racist and then he's in the clip he's like oh, that character like changed my life and he's like in a video with Shane telling no. him that he's just such a whenever it's like, useful to you he goes to the next person where's Emma Chamberlain where's the Dolan twins he just leaves them aside mm. from the Camellios that whole thing of DMing celebrities no one cares this about show James. is very anti James Charles oh. I will say that okay oh. ready drum roll please biggest clout goblin of 2020 I think it's gonna go to Bella Thorne I feel like Bella Thorne did like ever irreplaceable damage to the platform it's J james charles wow james charles! <laughs> okay they love you. and another resounding win for james charles 40 percent interestingly austin mcbroom came in second he's a goblin no, he's wow a i'm surprised he, 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 yeah austin mcbroom surprised me we recently did a content court on the ace family oh you did and uh, i was very surprised by his antics he is kind of a dude yeah he's the worst bella thorne dixie jake paul big ed big ed hey that's kind of a compliment to big ed
Yeah, is it though? No one cares about it. Everyone like who's Big Ed. I don't think oh, anyone okay. cares about Big Ed. Oh, you were right in with the. With have, the <laughs> Christy was right in with ninety. I have like a little bit of something in my glass right here, but I can't reach it. It's like right there. It's like a little bit of like leftover like red wine that's like hardened. Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy. I'm just gonna have to ignore it. You won both. That's kind of impressive. Oh wow, yeah. But it's only point three percent. Tana was written in an A B. Yeah. A B. Oh For well. Sure. He's like, that's true. A B was written in with six votes. We gotta find out who those six people are. They're not down. Interesting. Here on the show. Yeah. Everyone here is a cock goblin. Oh, everybody no, on the show. Vote for AB. <laughs> I promise that didn't. Um, I'm a bit confused on Ethan's point of James, um, and girls, I thought it was males he got with. No, this is about, um, him using, uh, Charlie D'Amelio, um, for clout. Nothing. He just, like, right, He's just, like, Yeah, love it. I need more people with, like, AB in my life. You just... <laughs> That's it. good. There's nothing wrong with that. I no. Yeah. Love it. So, congratulations, James Charles. Can we, can we please get, uh, steamy for James Charles? Oh, we have one. Thank you. Sure James would love that in the post. James Charles, congratulations. We'll be engraving your name. Biggest clout goblin yeah. 2020. So we love you and we appreciate uh, you. And, uh, these are two people I'm like just can't wait till they like disappear off social media and it will happen. Look at Ray William Johnson on TikTok just trying to get him. I don't know. Like, James is pretty. James and mm -hmm. Jake are both like. Oh no, they'll they'll eventually they will. Like I mean, everyone is like super big at one point. Like go pump down. Like they totally do. Well, James did came down big time, but then he like got huge on TikTok with like. Nobody's gonna care. Mm. So I can't wait. Like and I and I say that because they're actually shitty humans. Like if they're not, you know, like. Tana, I don't think she's like a shitty human. She's just kind of like, you know, off putting. I don't think she's like a crappy human. I think well, she's just oh, there we have, there we have Ethan calling Tana a shitty person. Dare we check the H three channel today? Dare we check the H three channel today? A simple open link. Who was on today? Tana Mojo. You're really. You're not even aware of the rules. You've so like. Yeah, maybe more like. You don't play with. My goodness. When it's convenient, right, Ethan? Tana's fine, then, then, then James Charles is fine. No, no, like, he's, like, evil. Like, he's actually, evil? like... Yeah, because, like, you can't go around, like... Like, the stuff that he does to people is kind of, like, gross. You know what I mean? And also the fact that you're friends with, like, a minor and you think it's okay. Like, I'm sorry, that's manipulation. Like, you're, like, power control. Like, that's true. Gross. And don't say that I said oh, I was pro Hitler. I don't say that I, I just just started pop, on pop, James. You're really pop, pop, just oh, pop. this was whenever James was starting to make, like, comments, like, against Trisha. Oh shit! Do you remember when James made that video, being like, <laughs> like really, really, really quick, like being like, and you're this, and you're that, and you're this, and you're that, and he was speaking so quickly, and then Trisha made one responding to him. Twenty twenty one was fucking crazy. Like you, James? No, I love every other gay person in this world. Like I'm like I, I myself am a gay man. Like can I you be like, homophobic whatever. for one person? No, that's oh, not okay. okay, I'm just curious. Yeah. Like, I am homophobic for you. He loves to turn it like that. He's oh. an actual shitty person. Stop being friends with minors, games. It's disgusting. Move to the next category. Next category. Oh Thank God. you, James Charles. Congratulations. Next category, please. Ian, thank you. It's the next uh, category. Uh, it is biggest douchebag of 2020. Ooh. Now this biggest is douchebag. A strong category. I biggest... wrote for you. Right, I wrote in you. You wrote me in. What did I do? I don't know. I think okay. like this would be the category you can win. Biggest douchebag. Damn. I mean, it's stiff competition. So <laughs> maybe, maybe there's other write-ins for I me. Didn't write you, one. you didn't. Yeah. Did she just yeah, say she was a gay man? Gay man? Yes. 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 She did. Yes. I was like, I'm trying not. You're a cancer. You're a sweetheart. Oh, cancer. Yeah. See, that you can't. The whole cancer thing. Just no. You're cancer. Bro. No, no, you are. You're. A I know I am, but anyway, <laughs> biggest douchebag 2020. Let's take a look. Okay, at the who's the we? nominees? Biggest douchebag of 2020. Mike Majlack. <laughs> Who's wearing a dress? Who's wearing a dress? Who's that? Mike? I have no idea who this is. Okay. Wearing a dress to a whippet. <laughs> oh, the guy in the Logan Paul. <laughs> what? What the fuck were they thinking with this? No, there's no one on the show who's more relatable than me. People <laughs> no. relate to my shit all the time. Keemstar. Keemstar. Ethan, you are a piece of fucking garbage. <laughs> I feel like because this was H3's audience that were voting, Keemstar is like an automatic win, honestly. Garbage. Everybody tweet at fucking H3, H3, death to all Jews. <laughs> This video. That was the video. That was the video I was talking about. Oh, that video was so iconic. A year ago, I did a video year, called you, Never Doing This Again, and I meant that. 2020 has been... This fucking gold couch. 
that's ingrained in my fucking mind. Really? Did they not shoot it like that? Oh my god. The chaos. Checks. I need to apologize. My Obviously. The entire Yaya you're about to see is filmed out of focus. Yaya is not a thing. Okay, it's not just. A thing. Stop trying to make Yaya work. Just the okay. I think that it's an automatic win for Keemstar. Trisha insisted that we include that. And I thought, well, I love Jack and. I hope nobody voted for it. I want to take Shane off one of these categories. I'm like, the only way I'm going like, to be okay with like promoting the show is after we include Jack Stones in the biggest respect of the... Trisha wants to take Shane off the categories. The only reason that he was allowed to stay in was so Trisha could keep Jack's films. Babe. Here. So let's see. Maybe he won. Would that be as it, epic? Jack is literally the nicest person. He literally acts like he doesn't know why he's next. You are so guy. ridiculous. Jack is so nice. He is so, he's I literally like, unproblematic. Like, Jack Stone is the most unproblematic person on the internet. He also thinks he's like the smartest man in the world. Like, oh my no. God, yeah. Like, okay. His Alexander Hamilton video, I was like, he thought he was so brilliant. Like, when people start talking about Can you just give the guy a break? Like, he's not problematic. Why do you gotta hate? Because he thought he was the first person to come up with the Alexander Hamilton thing. Like, everyone He didn't say or think anything. He just made a video. Oh my God. All right. Biggest douchebag of 2020. For me, I mean, Keemstar wins every year. I think Keemstar's gonna yeah, win. James Charles is good and. I mean, this all dudes. I don't think that's even like a joke you can make, really. No, I don't think so at all. Yeah. Put him over the edge for the biggest douchebag. Although Mike personally has. Oh, been Mike! So yeah, yeah. No, Mike is. I wouldn't be mad if Mike won. <laughs> he's, well, he's very douchey. I mean, he's nice. He's a nice guy. He's very douchey though. Uh, I'm gonna go with Jack Stones. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, let's get a drum roll. Biggest douchebag of 2020. I think Here it's gonna go. be Keem. And the winner. Keem. Goes. <laughs> to. <laughs> Keem. Keem stop. Predictable. It's Hatcher's audience voting. Oh, wow. <laughs> with a resounding, <laughs> the biggest margin win by far with 56%. Congratulations to Keemstar, biggest douchebag of 2020. Incredible. Yeah. I, okay. I agree with that. James Charles in second with 21%. Yeah. Jeffrey Star. Mike actually didn't even show. Like Mike. That's cool. 4.3%. Jack's film. Actually no one cares about Mike. Well, Jake Paul. Jack's film is douchier than Jake Paul. Was it? It doesn't. Oh, okay. oh, we didn't show him. Oh, Jake Paul was a write in? Oh, that's oh. a lot. Oh. Oh, he wasn't nominated? I don't believe we had him in. Oh, he should. Oh. Yeah, he should have been nominated. Okay, well. But I don't think anyone could have topped Keemstar fifty six percent. That's the highest margin we've had in a category. Keemstar has done some wild things on the internet. I'm late again. Well, you're here, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, he definitely is like clear. When he's like the king of. of How the has he not been like kicked off YouTube? Like for real? Like with that comment where he's like, "Oh, why didn't you like kill yourself?" You know what I mean? Like that. Not to bring up that, but like. Well, for sure, I have wondered that myself. That's like actually like isn't that like and also just and also just saying everybody tweet that Ethan death to all Jews. Right. It's like ha ha funny. That's like a beyond, uh, super though. funny joke. That's all Jews. Did you get tweets? I don't check my oh. timeline because it's full of shit like that. It seems just a little bit beyond like hating or trolling. Noticeable write ins Dr. Drew came in with 12 votes somewhere. Dr. Drew does something much. And Dan? Yes. Dan. Dr. Drew Paul. Yes. Yes to the Dr. Drew. Yes to the Dr. Drew. Okay, it was me who wrote him in. Well, I mean, that's oh. not a lot. That's not a lot. He has grown on me. I was at last year when I put him in. 2019, yeah. I would have considered Dan a douchebag of the year, but 2020, he was killing it, so. Hmm, how did that make you feel? You got 12 votes. You're not upsetting somebody, you're, you're not doing something. Wait, Dan right. got voted? That's funny. There you go, I like it. Well, Keemstar is doing everything right in his life, so... I would have voted Dan last year. This is your steamy biggest douchebag of 2020, and I'll even put the percentage you won by... Willoughby said, I don't know how you're able to stream and make videos like you do when you have COVID. I'm basically crawling from room to room, so exhausted all the time. You're a rock star filming, being sick. Well, I appreciate you acknowledging that, and I hope you feel better. I don't know if you can hear, but I'm really stuffy, and it does hurt to talk. I've, like for some reason have like the most croaky voice it, it does hurt but i mean you i've got to get on with it 56 percent resounding went on that one congratulations to keemstar Yay. incredible showing incredible showing now, well done so keemstar much, way too much fun. it is so much fun oh my goodness having so much fun with this i'm so glad we got all dressed up we're here we're celebrating 2020 the best aspects it was like a party ian what's our next category uh on the flip side of that we've got biggest mean girl of 2020 biggest okay. mean girl oh i'm pretty sure i think i know that taddy won this one Biggest Mean Girl. I feel like Taddy won this one. And I feel like it was quite popular to like Taddy whenever they made this one. So I feel like this was quite controversial that she okay, won. Okay. We had douchebag and it was all guys. So it was like, well, we need to be... Wait, it was like Gabby Hanna, right? And I feel like Trisha might be... And I don't want to say the B word because it's kind of like derogatory for women. It's like too mean. So I was thinking like, okay, Mean Girl. Right. Well, but, what it, but what it really is is biggest B word. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes. I was like, what word? Because I feel like I just don't like saying that to females these days. It feels too chauvinistic. Mm. You know what I mean? How the world is like that now. Like you can't call. But, it, uh, but yeah. if they're a bitch, they're a bitch. No, I I agree, but I feel like I feel like for some reason. My sister happened in 2019. Women, probably because they've just been fucked with for so long. It holds no merit to me. I throw that word around like you know what I mean. It's kind of like whatever. Like I don't want to feel that way. Bitch, so. I don't want to be a baby about it, but I do. I just I don't feel comfortable. You're a baby about it. I think really? you're becoming the woke. No, I, so I'm not woke. Well, I just I don't like calling women that word. It just feels bad. If they're a bitch, they're a bitch. I agree. If I called Ela bitch, she would fuck. I would die. 
She would murder me. And both just call you a bitch? I mean, that's crossing the line. No, but you can like a queen. Um, I don't know. Eli handled it pretty well when I called her, but I didn't mean it. No, but, but you're a one, well. female to female. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. But you know what I mean when you say Eli is a bitch? That's way more heavy than saying, like, oh, Dan's a fucking douchebag. Mm, it is yeah. it harder. But I was being a bitch when I said that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, biggest mean girl of 2020. So let's go ahead and review the nominees. Biggest mean girl of Okay, let's see. And a Dixie to Melio. Dixie? Oh my god. Dixie, what the hell? Why did you do that? Tati. Tati. with Shane Dawson, the king of truth on YouTube. The king of truth? Turning against James Charles unless these things he was saying the truth. It's been a long time coming. Gabby. Oh my god. These people. Trisha Paytas. Trisha. You are once again, Stephen. Like, oh my god, I'm always right. Oh, then I think it's either Tati or Trisha wins. It's like, ugh, you and Jack don't stir each other. Look at you going after Jack. He's such a sweet guy. All right, Trisha. Oh my god. You definitely, I mean, are you honored? Who do you think won? It's either Tati or Trisha. Great. Okay. I'm honored. Um, yeah. Are you Dixie's prepared? Like, of all the I people, agree. that's like a bitch. And Tati, too. It's kind of like, ooh, I think she's dumb. She I was in her lawsuit. Did you see that? That her lawsuit Oh, yeah, I did. I did really. <laughs> they're like, Trisha is an adult entertainer, therefore she is not credible for this story. I'm like, first of all, it's not that I'm an adult entertainer that I'm not credible, but okay. I forget in what context she she mentioned it. The person who countersued her said, like, oh, they brought up my video as like evidence against her, which I don't know why they did that. But then what? Tati's lawyer wrote back and said, well, this is an adult entertainer, so she's not credible. Yeah, it was no, like, whoa. Yeah. No, that is. That's really? There's other reasons they could have said I'm not credible, but they're like, well, but it literally said adult performer who's not credible. Mm. Fuck you, Ice Queen. Yeah, I hope. Well, biggest mean girl of 2020. Let's get a drum roll, please. This is a big one. This, I mean, mm, stiff competition. Uh, I really don't know. I feel like there could be a lot of votes for you, but I feel like, I the feel like all of them could have respectfully won, to be fair. Oh my god, Dolly's having nightmares. You're okay, baby. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You okay? You okay? Just sleep. Okay, go. Sorry, Dolly was having nightmares. I had to wake her up. Two are so deserving of the title. I think they all Where deserve it. Tati Westbrook. Oh, I remember yeah. it. Tati won. Really? I mean, I feel like Tati deserves this one. With 32%, 32%. Won, you were in second with 25%. But I did make fun of your mom's cooking, called Eva the C word. Like, I think I deserve to be made. But again, like you said, like. Not her disappointed she didn't win. Like, like you said, you don't mean it, but Tati is an ice queen, bonafide mean girl. I think I'm meaner than Tati, this sucks. The people have spoken, Trisha. I feel like I'm weirder than Tati, this sucks. <laughs> a Gabby Hanna in third, really close between you and Gabby, actually. Gabby's not mean, she just needs help. And no. Dixie was 17%. I mean, Dixie's mean. Gabby's not mean, she just needs help. I mean, God bless Tata Tati. Uh -huh. I'm like, hello to Tati this year. Tati, congratulations, you are the meanest girl of 2020. Right? Well done, Tati. Yeah, keep me up. Don't hey, stick my man, name out of your mouth, bitch. <laughs> That's the quote of 2020. Yeah. Don't talk about me, keep my name out of your mouth. Mm, so much fun. Ian, what's our next category? Uh, moving along, our next one is Worst Influencer Song. Oh. Worst oh, Influencer wait. Song. I just Does Trisha have any on there? No. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, my I, thought, I, wait, I just realized that Trisha should be on there at least once. <laughs> um, I suggested we eliminate everyone but Dixie, because I think the only one who has a horrible Yeah, Trisha wanted to, to it all to be Dixie songs. And no one else, no one else deserves it. It's literally just Well, let's have a look at the nominees. For one, one day, started. one whole day, Dixie was really, 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 really sad. That song's good in theory. <laughs> Worst influencer song. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know they're trying to like not get copyright, but Jesus. This audio is awful. I need to mute this. Okay, so Dixie is three songs. Jake Paul. Whoever the fuck Jake Payne is. Oh, so obviously Dixie wins. Haha. -ha. Because Dixie became so famous just by being Charlie's sister. I mean, that's plot following shit. Oh, that's true. Oh, I get it. Yeah, she's totally. Yeah. She's literally, that's it. No, she's like, one day. One, one day. day. I was really, oh, really, really, roll, really please. sad. Who do you think is going? I think Dixie. I mean, obviously. By the way, Trisha nominated. At first, it was just three Dixie songs. <laughs> and we're like, we should add somebody else. Because that was just Trisha. The winner is. Poor Dixie. I mean, what age is Dixie D'Amelio? One day. One day, I was really, 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 really sad. For one day, one whole day, I miss you really, really, really bad. 21. So wait, Dixie was what age? 2021. How many years ago was that? Two years ago? She was 19. That makes me feel so bad. Like, that makes me feel so bad. Like, she was really young. 
And like so far this entire episode, she's been the person that has been that has got it the most. Like I'm 20. And I was 19 when I was making my frenemies videos. And I don't know how I would have dealt with it if I was getting all of, you know, what they were giving Dixie. And I mean, you know, it, it's fun and it's games and stuff like that. I understand it. And I mean, she can be quite annoying. But I mean, you know, all of us are at that age. I mean, I still am. It's upsetting. And I guess she's going to win and... All right. I mean, I don't mean to be like the fucking negative Nancy being like, ooh, 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 ooh. but I mean, that's quite annoying. Is this Eugenia video almost done yet? Oh, we got one of them approved. We're just waiting for a girlfriend. Perfect. Okay. By overwhelming majority, Dixie! For one day with 42%. This is probably the only award she'll ever win in her life, so congrats, <laughs> Dixie. One day. Like... And Trisha says this will be the only award she wins in her life. It's just like, this is why we're still on Trisha's ass. You know what I mean? Like Trisha is just a bitter old woman and Trisha is not old. So figure out my wording here. Trisha is a bitter old woman at heart, but she's not an old person. Trisha Paytas is young. She is... 30 something Trisha is still young but Trisha will always be a bitter old woman she does not like seeing anyone that's not her succeed and it will always be people that'll be younger than her so she's a bitter old woman at heart and that doesn't mean she's old it just means she's a bitter old woman hey, one day I was really 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 sad not today she's the winner today second place was Jake Paul for set of London and third place, once again, Dixie, be happy. Oh. And uh, Dixie roommates. People like that one, apparently, only 4%. I feel like I'm watching this now in a very different light about Dixie. But one day, this is uh, huge, so congratulations, Dixie. Congrats. You are, you're, you are an award-winning artist. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Because, like, let's face it, in a year, she's not going to be anywhere. So she'll be like, oh, at least I want to see me. Here's a nice steamy for you, Dixie. Just me. One day. Congratulations. One day. This is okay. Maybe you should get on some antidepressants because your songs are be happy. Jesus. And one day, she's I'm just... Maybe she should get on some antidepressants. A comment from old woman Trish. For you? You're right. Yeah, you're don't know anything about her. Her songs are called She Wants to Be Happy. She's really, really sad. I think she's crying for help to have someone guide her. Maybe right. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying maybe check it out. Maybe Let's say, go, go talk to a psychiatrist and see if antidepressants are right for you. That's so true. Right. Don't take my advice. They weren't right for me, but maybe they'll be right for her. She seems like she has more together than me, so. 20 milligrams of Lexapro set me straight. Oh, yeah. I like Prozac, although I did. Never mind. Prozac Nation. I ran a pharmacy on Prozac. So. Oh, my God. Okay. Was that the Prozac or you, though? It's hard to know. That was the Prozac, for real. It was. Mm -hmm. Never had to That's kind of awesome to be like, it was the Lexapro. It was the Prozac, I swear. <laughs> What's our next category, please, Ian? It's uh, most brutal cancellation. Okay. This is so this was the one, Trisha says, this is the one I'm not happy about. This was the one that Shane was nominated for. And I think Shane wins. There better not be something in this. No, there's not. Oh, but I like to change the title. So at first, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I'm trying to spray COVID everywhere. No, I'm kidding. I don't have COVID. Just my cough. No, so it's Tourette's. How about that? Let's remind Tourette's. That wasn't a Tourette's. Tape. Oh, what is that? <laughs> what was it? I was just coughing. That's not coughing. That's like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This we're meant to be ridiculous. Okay. I'll cut it off the Tourette's. It's kind of like your Prozac. Like it was the Tourette's. Officer, it was the Tourette's. I love having a friend with Tourette's because now I can like have a soapbox or something. Like normally Tourette's. Oh, thank you. I co-host. You can soapbox on my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh my God, that could be about. She's so like, weird. Be about having Tourette's and like you know, mind all about being a fat girl. You should be like, oh, here's me. With you want my entire identity to revolve around having Tourette's? That's what you gotta do in this time. I've been fine so far. Social media, you gotta like go for a thing that people feel sorry for you for. Most people don't know. I feel like that just sums up Trisha's entire motto when it comes to content. Find something that people will feel sorry for you about. And for Trisha, it was that no one loves her and her friends have all left her. Oh, I have it. They just think I'm a weirdo. And I'm happy with that. Because I don't want my whole existence to be defined by the guy with Tourette's. But you can help so many people with Tourette's. I think people who have Tourette's who watch me know that I have Tourette's. I didn't know that. I know people You don't have Tourette's. What do you want me to say? Tourette's people of the world with Tourette's. Hear me now. Yeah. I will be your spokesperson. Yeah. They're fine. Do you have Hebrew in your jacket? Is that directed by an Israeli? It's like Hebrew in your, in your coat, in your, in your neck. Do I have in your neck? Oh, wait, we should just read them. Yeah. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> so, it, this was originally called Best Cancellation, but that's not what it is. It's not, we're not passing a judgment value on if this person deserves to be canceled or not. We're just saying it was like the most complete, shocking. Uh, Ethan was bending the rules so much just to appease Trisha here with Shane. 
brutal cancellation. No, the harsh cancellation. It was just like, wow, that was the big cancellation of the year. Right, because you also have Jenna in this category, who's very well liked. She, no one thought she deserved to yeah. but got a brutal cancellation. Well, she kind of canceled herself. She canceled her. <laughs> Jenna did not get canceled. Shut the f up. This is one of the things, by the way, that about online that I really hate when people rewrite history. Jenna Marbles was not cancelled. She was not cancelled. No one was calling her out. Jenna probably wanted to stop doing YouTube for fucking years. I mean, as much as I love her, her content reflected. Her content for the last few months was... It was not good. And I, it's my favorite creator. She wanted to leave. She saw an out and she took it. As much as I love her, I can say that. She saw an out and she took it. The out was the fact that all of the YouTubers were getting cancelled. So she found a way to get out, which was cancelling herself. That's the truth. And the fact people rewrite history and cancel culture this. No, she literally made a video and was like, I want to present you with content that I think I should be cancelled for. Because she wanted to leave the internet. She didn't want to be posting anymore. She wanted a reason to leave. Julian canceled her even more. He's like, stop talking about Jenna's cancellation video. And I was like, oh, you're just canceling her more. Like, oh, really? People were pissed that we nominated her. I was like, this is insensitive. Right. Julian hates when people talk about Jenna's cancellation. Oh, well, what well, I mean, it's the internet. But I love, first of all, let me just say, I love Jenna and Julian. I think they're great people. And, I, and I, I've always admired uh, Jenna Marbles. Yeah. So again, this isn't a value pat on, on, on them. It's just we're, we're acknowledging the category. So with that being said, Dan, roll it. Most brutal cancellation. <laughs> Talk to Westbrook. Taddy. Chris D'Elia. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Chris D'Elia. I didn't know. Yeah, Tony Lopez. Nice. This is going so fucking fast. Ace Family. Tony Lopez. Who was this other one? Who the fuck are these people? Talk to Westbrook. Bye bye. Bye. Chris D'Elia. Ouch. 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 They didn't know. Yeah, that's all right. Lopez. Nice, all right. Pyro Cynico. Pyro I have no idea who that is. Pyro Cynico? I have no idea who that is. Yeah, Marbles. Yeah. Yeah. We love her. So, so, I mean, that, wow, that was a brutal one. I mean, for me, it's definitely, thank you. It's definitely between, if you want to talk about brutal cancellation, yeah. Shane and Chris were the biggest. Pyro Cynico. I have no idea who that is. Does that mean they deserve to win? Because I've, like, I mean, the cancellation was clearly great. They yeah. got stomped on the hardest this year. Yeah. Like, both of them are just gone. Yeah, and I don't know Chris, but he seems like a nice guy and all his friends turned against him. I loved Chris. Like, at least Shane, like, I stood by him, like, his friends, like, he didn't lose, you know what I mean? Like, we Babe, you didn't stand Shane. by him whenever he was, <laughs> bitch, let's not. <laughs> different, in my opinion, because with Shane, it's not like he necessarily did anything. Yeah. It's all, like, bad jokes from a long time ago. Right. Whereas Chris is, like, actively doing slimy stuff. Tony Lopez actually admits, like, sexting 15-year-olds. How is he actually not canceled? Like, it's insane to mm. me. So, yeah, like, and Shane has canceled this multiple times. Like, the, the, the fact that, like, the Smiths jumped in on it, like, oh, 15 yeah. years Smith later. Oh, buried his ass. It's like... Oh, uh, calm down, Jada Pinkett. Like, her daughter was posting topless at 13 with her 21-year-old boyfriend. Wait, so maybe what? focus on that. Yeah, there's, there's like, a topless photo of Will Smith at 13 years old with her 21-year-old boyfriend, Moises Aries, or whatever. Wait, her? Who's 21-year-old boyfriend? Um, Willow Smith was 13 dating a 21-year-old no. actor named Moises Aries. No, so so. Look it up in the digital so, Look that up right now. Look Somebody fact check right that. Right now, right now. I can't put that out there without knowing. Fact check it. Is that just, like, I would never put rape? That out there. Is that just, like, rape? Look that up. Look it up. Somebody and looking just, it up? And, like, don't, like, I mean, the thing is, is, like, that's what you should be worrying about. You know what I mean? Like, wait, I gotta know if that's true or not because. Yeah, she's, I just say it if it's not. A thirteen-year-old was dating a twenty-one-year-old. I mean, they say we're friends, but she's topless in bed with this guy. That is insanely disturbing. Moises Aries. Yep. What? He was a Disney Channel star, and he was like twenty, twenty-one at the time with the photos. And she was again something Trisha didn't care about until Shane was involved. They introduced him as a family friend, though. Mm. But why was he in bed with her and she was topless? How does that? Isn't that child pornography? How's that out? It's well, she he was like covering her. She was covering herself or something. But it's disgusting. Focus on that. There it is, right there. The there's Smith a photo. Look, AB's showing you. Oh, this is weird. Wait, why is this photo out? Was this part of a shoot? Yeah. They posted it? This was a while ago, but yeah. Mm hmm. They're in but, bed. This was after Shane's joke. This was like 20, so like. What? Exactly. Oh my god. This was shared on social media. Weird. Mm. I am blown away by this. Although, the Smith family kind of has no way oh. to talk. They are so fucked up. Oh, and although, did you watch the, the Red Table with Olivia Jade? And they were talking about how, like, she has all this privilege, white privilege. Okay, let's talk about rich people privilege. Your daughter has that, too? Yeah. They'd be like, oh my gosh, like, you have this, like, this white privilege. But you also have rich privilege. Your, your, your parents are... None of this 
was something that Trisha cared about until Jada called out Shane. So. But that's why you can get away with that photo. And that's why, like, it's like, I mean, Smith crazy. privilege is, is, is powerful as anything on this planet. It's the most powerful thing. Yeah. So don't even. I mean, it's. Uh, I have something to do. But that, that whole Red Table show is like ruining their life. Like, she's so. She's a clout goblin. A clout goblin for sure. Because she's like airing all their dirty laundry for her views on Facebook. And it's like. And that's like. She goes, Oh, I had an affair with Will with this guy. And Will Smith is out there like, Dude, I'm trying to live my fucking life. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Leave me out. Or did you see the one where she's like, Oh, let's debate on if it's okay that white people adopt black babies? I'm like, uh, Why would that would not be Would you rather okay? the black baby not have a family? That's literally. They had the girl from Texas City who adopted an African American baby and they had her on and they're being like, Is this, is this weird that like white people what are doing this? I mean, it's always divided. It's always divided. Like, it's it's crazy. How dare you want to love a, a family, a baby that has oh, no family? Yeah. And, she's like, and everybody sees color. It's like, some people just want a baby. Some people are just infertile. Like, well, the thing is, baby. some people just, I don't know if they specifically ask for a black baby, but they're wait, it takes a while till you have a baby ready for a family that wants to adopt a new I mean, baby. Yeah. So it might be black, it might be white, it might be you Asian. Just want you just, a baby yeah. to take care of and love. Like, it's crazy. I am speechless. I haven't seen that, but I agree with your oh. assessment uh, with the facts presented. Anyways. With that being said, Drum roll, please. This is a huge, hotly. Uh, I even forget what we were doing. Oh, biggest cancellation, Jesus! Fuck me. The glory, most brutal cancellation, guys. Come on. You would think Jada was nominated from like what Trisha just said. Most brutal cancellation. Shane wins, I think. Of 2020 goes to with a huge margin. Shane, Shane Dawson. Absolutely the biggest That's good, honestly, because people recognize that it's brutal. 57%. And I have to say, I think that it was the fact that Shane had such an explosive year. Of course, yeah. And then such a, an explosive cancellation. Yeah, because he was so at the height of his, you know. I, I like, I, you know, I, I like Shane. I feel bad because it's like, again, like I said, Crystal Lee was actively doing scummy things. Right. Shane, Can we talk about how Trisha was like, no, that's good that he won because it means that people are acknowledging that it was the, you know, the biggest cancellation. And then he didn't deserve it. Babe, that's not what it was. And then sh fucking Ethan being like, you know, Shane didn't deserve any of that just because he's sitting with Trisha. Whereas Ethan literally in his podcast today brought up all the old videos of Shane by his own merit because he wanted to talk about the reasons that Shane got canceled. Like, oh my God. As much as I can appreciate Ethan, he ju it, it just depends on who he's with. Seriously, like we talked about this in my video today. He brought up the Willow Smith video, the videos with the the reaction guys, and all these like videos that Shane was canceled for, but now you're sitting here saying he didn't deserve it just because you're with Trisha and Trisha was the friend. Like, depending on who Ethan's with, he will change his entire morals the exact way Trisha will. These people are both the same. Sorry. There was a lot of like tasteless gags from, from before I met him. All those jokes were like before I even met him. There's not one video where he's making those jokes with me. I met him in 2011. You know what I mean? So he was, mm. yeah. And, and but the fact that Jenna's number two, this is great because then they're recognizing people that who have This is great, she says. It was like unjustified is what I'm saying. Because she got killed too for making like Asian because, jokes like Yeah, I, I feel like people are interpreting this as un, unjustified because Chris D'Elia only has 10% top T. Right, like they think Tom Lopez for the main yeah. but they, he should be answered. But anyway, almost 60% for Shane, so congratulations to Shane, I think. The most brutal cancellation of Well deserved. Yeah, keep well coming back and he will be can back. Can we get a, uh, Shane can come back at any time. People yeah. would, would love him. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, this Shane. was, this was the moment that I commented on where Trisha goes to spill on Shane's comeback. Because remember, he was like silent at this time. She goes, yeah, he will be back. But, but, and this was like a really big deal because everyone thought he was going to leave the internet forever. Listen to this. Shane, so congratulations. To Shane, Listen. For most brutal cancellation of 20. Well deserved. Yeah, people well want deserved. a bag and he will be Can back. Can we get a, uh, Shane can come back at any time. Yeah. People would love him. Thank you. Yeah. Shane. Uh, she was going to say he is a really big whatever. Congratulations. Can we set that aside? I'll fucking Oh yeah, please. Well, better. should we engrave it first? Are you going to actually engrave it? Are we going to engrave these? It's just plastic. Can you engrave it? We can, yeah, we can get a little knife and yeah, paper can engrave it for everyone and put it up. You can deliver it to us. Like Maybe it. you can do an acceptance speech for us. Yeah, for sure. A little video. <laughs> Shane, congratulations. <laughs> Brutalist cancellation. Yeah, yeah. We love Shane. Aww. This is a pro-Shane, anti-James Charles podcast. <laughs> right? Like, it's just really hard to take this seriously. <laughs> we, we love that. We stand there. Uh, the next category is worst apology. Worst, worst apology. apology. I'm the master at calling out bad apology okay. videos. Let's see no this. one is sincere these days. You know who's sincere? I'm sincere when I mess up. Only you are sincere. Only me. All the other ones are fake, so let's go. <laughs> let's see it, Dan. Worst apology. Worst apology. A long overdue apology. Tana. A message. Jenna. Jenna Marbles. Admitting when I'm wrong. Dr. <laughs> Mike. Breaking my silence. Tana. Er, Tana. That's right. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Like we went to therapy. Ace family. <laughs> I messed up. Uh, I have to say, I love an apology title. I love, love, love nothing more in this world than an apology title. And the fact that, like, 
the market is so oversaturated now that people have to come up with like really extreme ones. It's like Lana Del Rey like tracks titles, you know what I mean? Oh god. Oh All shit, those... who do I think won? Worst apology, Tana, Jenna, Dr. Mike, Taddy. I feel like Ethan's audience are gonna vote for Dr. Mike. I feel like his audience are gonna vote for Dr. Mike. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. We're horrible. Biggest YouTuber, worst YouTuber apology. So we are rating the insincere worst one out there. What do you, what's, what are you thinking? Well, she never really apologized. People are thinking Tana. We're not apologizing in her apology video. Also the title, Breaking, breaking My, my Silence. Oh, that's what people say after they've gotten like, assaulted. Like, that they, you know, the R word. Like, that's what happens. It's like you're coming out against I mean, to be fair, Taddy was silent online for a very long time. So, I mean, it's not, her having that title really didn't surprise anyone because she was quiet for a long time, so. The odds. Breaking My Silence. Like, Crazy. All right, I actually, I don't know who's gonna be in here, but let's get a drum roll for worst YouTuber apology. I think Dr. Mike, because of his audience. Gonna be the winner is, by a very, very close margin, wow. down to the wire, Whoa. Jeffree Star. Worst wow. YouTuber. Wow. Jeffree won, okay. I mean, that video was iconic. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, oh. I gotta say, Jeffrey won with 26.3%. Tati, in second place with 26.1%, a real night nail biter. Mm -hmm. Tana, close third, 21%. Ace Family, Dr. Mike, Jenna, with Jenna Marbles, if you're watching, you got 0.6%, which is, I think you should have been at zero. Right. Crazy. Well, Why the fuck was Jenna included in that? Yeah, some Willoughby was like, the fact Jenna was even included. Worst apology? Why the fuck was Jenna included in that? What? I have, like, no idea. That's so stupid. I think it was Jeffrey's setting. Insincere. The setting. The He's glam. Like the, yeah, the glam. I want to get some glam before I apologize. Man. It's his $15 million mansion. Just, like... Let me, uh... So, if we can... Congratulations, you know, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. YouTube apology. 2020. I would like to make amends with Jeffrey this year. He's... So, what better way oh, to hey. deliver this? Get him a steamy bile of yeah. award. Um, yeah, we can try that. Excellent. I feel like I might have been a little harsh on Jeffrey last year. Like, I think he was... I still think he's a weirdo. Yeah, but the He's, like, a weird goblin man. Are you going by the looks, or are you, like, his attitude? Everything. Um... He's really nice. He has, like, nice... Why'd you do a flip-flop on him? Well, Jeffrey's yeah. really nice. From Trisha Paytas. 2021. I had, he had a mean girl moment where he was, like, making fun of my weight and skin and stuff behind my back, but... Oh, yeah. Jesus. She just he, changes, he just, like, doesn't she? Are you my God. interested in clout? No, Jeffrey clout? I... Because he does have clout. No, no, I think it's just more, like, I know his... Like, he comes from, like, the similar, like, sex word I did. Like, he was mm, on Craigslist. Oh, really? Like, I mean, he talked about it in the Shane documentary, like, fuck a dick on Craigslist. Really? Like, yeah. How much did so, he charge? Do you know? Did you want five? <laughs> I wonder if you charge. Uh, Please don't say Shane documentary. That is such a list. I really charge less than five for blowing. Uh, you can do it for drugs, but he doesn't do drugs, so probably not drugs. It's oh. more valuable than five, probably. Uh, well, you get the five and the drugs. Like, oh, it was, it was on the like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, um, yeah, I think, like, he's just, like, really broken and insecure. Like, he's always on the defense. Mm. And he said he went to therapy this year, so hopefully that helped. Because it helped me. Like, if you're always on the defense, like, I was always on the defense for so long. Is your therapy like, doctor, yeah. what's his name, Drew, by any chance? Broken, I don't get hurt. Okay. So. A little empathy here from 2021, Trisha. We like that. Now, we have two categories left. I would like to try your mom cooking again in 2021 because my I... mom's over you. <laughs> she hates me. My mom canceled you. Shit, really? What if she like? Okay, she's a new person. Nah, my mom's fine. She's an old. Yeah, she said congrats. Did she say congrats? I should have texted her. Congrats. She did. Yeah, yeah, she was happy for you. She's over it. But she was really mad. <laughs> I know. It was funny. I know. You know what I think about that? Like, I think because my mom, my mom, yeah, my mom doesn't really ever get like that. And she's like, I hate her. <laughs> she's complaining about my cooking on the podcast. Like, maybe we'll just work it for that. Yeah, let's not. Yeah. <laughs> we won't rush into Passover with her. Oh, okay. Donna. Okay, um. <laughs> next category, please. Uh, next no. category is biggest reverse card. Oh, oh, biggest this, reverse I'm, card. I'm explain, but the biggest Uno reverse card. What's this? I forget. Is when somebody did a flip flop, a 180, or like they. they Trisha. Trisha. Trisha better win this one. Some big statement and then walked it back. Yes. Oh, okay. That's right. So best creator Uno reverse card. Let's see the uh, the nominees, please, Dan. Thank you. Biggest reverse card. Who's Dr. Not? Drew downplays COVID oh. gets COVID. People more likely to die of influenza, so go and get your flu shots. Doesn't hurt anybody. Get your head on. Fuck Dr. Drew. Yeah. This corona thing doesn't worry me it is, at all. It is a press-induced panic. I am angry about it. It is the flu. He is <laughs> battling COVID-19 from his bedroom. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, we know how to treat it now, but it really requires careful management by physicians. Tati Westbrook, Tati. James Charles Alliance. Right. James Charles came to my home. We apologized to each other, forgave each other, and agreed to wait patiently until it was safe for me to share my story. James Charles has repeatedly said that he wanted to be beside me for this video. My Gustafa puts adopted son oh. back up for adoption. YouTube star, oh star, my god, you know? do you remember this? Oh my god. Oh my god. This story was disgusting. Opening up about her controversial decision to rehome her adopted son, Huxley, when they brought him home. She said the story was... was so upsetting. 
profoundly developmentally delayed. He was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder level three. Now, Micah writes that she's praying that Huxley only has the best future oh. in the entire world. Oh. Brutal. Oh. The, 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 I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, you guys might be more, but she actually tried, she wanted to adopt someone that had... Yeah, she said in a video, yeah. specifically a special She needs wanted baby. a special needs baby. And she's like, this is too much for me. Uh, it's, it's honestly so bad, so tragic that it's hard to even think of. I feel like that last one, the adopted child, deserves to win this one. That was one of the worst stories of the year. Uh, but I'm sure that the, the kid probably is in a better home, I hope. Because he was re-adopted. It's so sad. so hard to adopt a child. Like, I don't think, like, there's no way I'll ever get a child. They're so strict at, like, as far as, like, if you're married, your mental illness, like, stuff you do online. Like, all that stuff is so hard to adopt a baby. So, like... You adopted this baby, and you, like, got him. You, like, He's have legally yours. Use yeah. it as content. No, I know. And then yeah, you're going to give him back? They, you, they put him in every video. They made a whole thing about him. And um, apparently she did again, correct me, I might be speaking that term, but they didn't think they could get pregnant, and then when she got pregnant is when she put him back up. <sighs> but I, I can't, don't quote me on that. Do you guys know that, that uh, nobody knows? Okay, so oh, and so I may be speaking that children are so loving, and so I mean, all children are amazing, but like especially like autism, like and, and down children too. They're so have so much like love and like pure. Like it's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Like those people like want to be loved like more than anything. Like it's like it's mm. crazy. And they have so much love to give. Aside from wanting to be loved, like they'll give you so much love. Like it's insane. Like she's obviously never been around children like autism. Like it's so so sad to me. Like mm. like when I looked at adopting, like I thought I, I was like her too. I was like I want to adopt like a special needs baby because like, they have like the number one thing that like, they have so much like love to give, and like mm. that's why I want babies and like, mm. all that stuff like that and take care of them. But. Oh, I will oh, say I, I feel a little bad for Dr. Drew. I see that all the COVID denial stuff was in like January, February, March. Yeah, but I, I had to, you know, I feel bad, Dr. Drew. We do love you, but I, I mean, think he's kind of like a little bit of a troll though. I think he kind of like plays up a little bit. I mean, he went on the whole Fox News tour and everything. Yeah, I like him. I think we're very similar. I mean, Dr. Drew. You want to fuck Dr. Drew? We're both codependent too. He followed me on Twitter after the last episode. What do you think that means? I think it means he wants to fuck you. Clearly. Dr. Drew, the sexy man, he's very attractive. Oh, Dr. Dre, this Dr. Dre, just, uh, I hate Dr. Dr. Dre so much. You're like, no. No, I love Dr. Dre too. It's great. This Dr. Dre stuff is so fucking good. He would have given out a cup. He wanted to show up in person. Yeah, he wanted to show up in person. He's like, I'm going to come to a cup. Wait, who did he show up in person? Wait, so who do we think won this one? The reverse card. I think definitely the adopted son. Just, oh my God, fuck Dr. Dre. Fuck Dr. Dre. I mean, I just, I just hate Dr. Drury so much, but, like, I feel that the adoption one deserves to win this oh, one. I see you on Fox News. Let's keep you at arm's length. <laughs> Talk to you about COVID isn't fucking real shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, drum roll. We are, at a, we are at an envelope, people. We ran out of envelope. We have two more left, I think. Biggest Uno reverse card. The Last adoption. Adoption uh, one. I mean, I can't, I can't even applaud that. Adoption Micah one. Stop, staffer. She might be the worst of all these awards. Like, that's a, adoption you're one. You're an actual human being. Back then, that has autism? Like... There's actually, so Dr. Drew, you'll be happy to know you only got 0.5% of the vote. Oh, Dr. shit. Dr. James was in close second with 90, 34%. And this was actually a really good write-in, which I wish was on there. Ethan and Trisha making a podcast together. <laughs> There's one, which is supposed to be, but I don't think it's better than giving your adopted child back. I don't think it's quite the same, but that's I love kind of as, it. That's kind of as Uno reverse card as it gets. So, I'm I not mean, really going to want uh, this award. That makes sense. I'm pretty sure that they will not want this award. They deserve the worst of the worst of 2020. Like, they deserve all these No, awards. they'll take the on. award and they'll give it back. Fuck me. Unjust right because Chris D'Elia only has ten percent. Oh shit! Coffee. I just skipped. Yeah, shit together. We have four more words. Wait, I just skipped. Okay, what's the next category? The next one is spiciest drama. Spiciest. That sounds great. I love Let's it. Let's take a look. Down. Spiciest drama. Spiciest drama. Teddy Fresh Prince James Charles. Drama. I am wearing the brand new This is a Girl Color Block Collection, which will be launching next week. This motherfucker. Hi, sister. Oh my God, Glam and Gorns. Oh. My God, I'm gonna be honest. I never really understood this drama. I don't really think I made a video on it because I didn't know how to. I didn't understand it, but I know the people were like loving it. So the first part we'll cover when we met and early problematic behavior. The second part, which gets much worse, uh, we'll cover my witness by her trashing and using James Charles and different Courtney. microaggressions towards the LGBTQ plus community. Oh no, I do remember this. I do remember this. I was thinking of. Oh my God! For some reason, I was thinking of the Angelica and Smoky Glow thing. No, I do know this. Behavior and the third part, which disturbs me the most, will bring us to the moment yeah, that pushed me over the edge, doctor. which is the reason why I'm making <laughs> this video. H3H3, this I am but one man, probably not even the most hated man in Keemstar's life. And you've seen the length he's gone to harass me. Good luck, Ethan, because you're going to fucking need it. H3H3, death to all Jews. David Dobrik's puzzle scan. David Dobrik puzzle. David Dobrik puzzle. You take your camera on your phone just like that, and then you scan it. It's a QR code, and look, now it'll load your prize. I don't know if people remember the David Dobrik puzzle scam, but it was like a huge deal it was like a huge deal 
going to 100% win means you're going to win anywhere from 25 cents to $100,000. According to the data on the puzzle's own website, 99.3% of people who find this puzzle will get a negative return in that their prize <laughs> will be under the initial $30 spent. Filter I sound like a scam, but this is a scam. <laughs> Talk to Westbrook. I, I, I have a lot to say about Tati versus Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Early in his YouTube career wanting to meet. Shut up, Tati. I learned being friends with Jeffrey Star Wars like being friends with Mike. She literally only gets attention when they make videos. But he was always really kind to me. The way they talk about Tati makes me so annoyed. And for Ethan, who has this god complex of talking about women, oh my god, he's so... Why is he lying? Oh my god, earlier he's like, oh, I'm not going to talk about women in a bad way and all like this. Please. Please. Bye, hi, hi. Coming out. Example Freaking the silence. <laughs> when it's what convenient, right? There are people dying. Demilio. <laughs> Excuse yourself. Give me a roll. That's a good category. Snail. <laughs> yeah, the snail's not really up there, but it's a good category. Spicy Whoa. drama. Wow, there's so much. Ugh, you and um, you would eat my ass. Who do you think is gonna win? Who do you think is gonna win this one? I think James Teddy Fresh is gonna win, obviously, because the H3 audience are the one voting. Yeah, that was a pretty big one. Mm. I have to say, it, it was pretty monumental compared to everything else on that list. But let me think. I'm gonna go with David Dobrik's puzzles game. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, so when you put that, I was like, what? Everybody loves David. But when I looked into it, I will say, I was like, this is super, super he's, shady. He's rich, white, straight, privileged at his point. It's like literally nothing he does. This why is you, a, why, this why, a scam. I'm like, oh, well, it's not a scam, but it is like a, it's gambling. Yeah. It, it, so he goes, he goes, football. he goes, buy this puzzle, build it. There's a QR code. And then you can win money. And it costs 30 That's, bucks. like, my least favorite thing in the entire world. Like, if I have to make a puzzle to, like, see if I win something, ugh, bleak. And he says everybody wins, which is true, but the puzzle costs $30. And usually most people win 25 cents. Yeah. And so he's literally just selling a lottery ticket that you have to put together. And then... It sounds illegal. I don't know how he got away with there, that. There's, and you have, to be, you have to be 18 years old to buy a lottery ticket. You don't have to be 18 to buy this fucking QR he code. He sent out puzzles to his friends. So everyone in the blocks are putting together puzzles so they could have a chance to win $100,000. Mm-hmm. Which, like, you're not supposed to, like, anyway. Then it's, like, one person gets $100,000. I, I, I looked at their podcast and I'm like, that. he's made over, like, $3 million with this puzzle. Jesus! Oh, yeah, you don't have to sell that many. And it's a QR code. Oh, that to, me, that, to me, legitimately should be investigated. That that seems illegal. It seems super shady. I think it he's, is. He's put together a lottery, and people who are buying these are not 18 years old. I wonder if it's a loophole because he's like DACA. He's not, like, legal here, so no. he can do that. You think DACA people who just come here and fuck up the whole... No. No, I, I don't Wait, know. Wait, guys. I have a good update. I've just got a text. <gasps> Wait... Wait, I just got a text. Okay, finally, YouTube have removed all of the oh the copyright from the Eugenia video. Now I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be like mostly silent for the dancing parts. I think it will. I think all the dancing parts are literally gonna be muted. Um, but I might be able to upload this video soon. It's from the stream yesterday and. It's an hour and 26 minutes long. And I think a lot of it might be muted, but I think it's still, I think it's still funny to upload. Um, so great. Whenever that's done, then I'll, I'll just upload that one for people that didn't see it yesterday. So that's good news at least. He had, I'm sure he consulted lawyers. He's pretty big time. But to me, this seems like it has to be illegal. And I don't think it's been investigated because you can't just put together your own lot. Lotteries are tightly regulated and they're mostly run by states to raise money for schools and shit. The way I want to like start getting into lottery and stuff like that so bad. Like I, I literally want to start getting like lottery tickets and stuff like that. But I feel that I might like not be able to trust myself because I will like have to win. You know what I mean? But that's how they get you. So. And so for him to put together. Never have one in my life. Who are under 18 seems super fucking illegal. Yeah. And I, I think that if it hasn't been investigated, I think it should uh. be. That's because lo- lotteries are lotteries are an important source of funds raising for states. Each state has its own lottery. Right. And people buy buy into it. And the majority of the, or like half of the money goes to charity work because it's a vice. So the state goes, OK, well, let's at least turn it into something good. Right, we're yeah. raising money for schools and shit. But David Dobrik's like, no, I'm going to I'm going to. That's all for me. And he also, a hundred thousand. I mean, step it up. Would you make three million dollars? You're going to hundred thousand. Like, at least give it to like, ten people or something. Like, it's so. It's I was shocked so... when I learned that. I was not cool with this. I'm not okay with this. This is so shady. That's what I'm saying. Like, people, I'm the worst person to be this, like, voice for this, but, like, because I'm the only one who, like, sees it because people are just, like, so blind. Like, oh, he gives people money and, like, cards. And it's like, but that's There's a, a reason he's giving people money. Right. Fuck, making a fuckload of money. It's it's a scam. And I'm sorry, you're, you're giving it to your friends. You gifted, like, well, like, I don't see anything wrong no, with that. because, like, Rigging, you know, knowing the person, like. But you're right. There's rules to sweepstakes and lotteries. You You, can't know the people involved. Lotteries are tightly regulated because it's so prone to criminal, uh, 
manipulation. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, like, the, the Dude, thing, but I am so not okay with this. And it's like, you can go out and make a million bucks if you don't give a fuck about anything. And, right. like, selling gambling lotteries to kids without any regulations is an easy fucking way to make a million dollars. It's straight up scammy. I see this people on TikTok, too. They're like, if you follow me on TikTok, like, I'll give, like, the person a thousand dollars, but, like, you have to, like, buy this. I'm like, that. You, can, you literally can't do that. People are getting away with it. There's so many TikTokers. Like, I use it all the time. Like, well, you know, the FDA is, uh, or not the FDA, the, the, uh, the FCC is, is starting to clamp down a lot on creators because they're doing all this crazy shit. And it's like super unregulated. If you have to purchase to win something, like, I think that's illegal. I don't think you should have to. You need, right, you, yeah. So you need to be able to get it for free. Who won? Yeah. The sweepstake, but this is a lottery, and I don't know. I'm sure the laws are Who won? I have to assume he consulted a lawyer, but whoever it was, I want this investigated. I really do. This is not okay. It's not okay. It's really it's, disturbing. It's okay. But it's, not, but it's like, just a puzzle of a QR code. It doesn't have any energy <laughs> value. It's literally just putting together a lottery. Hoping you win hundred thousand from David Dobrik. Like, I can't get over it. When he's made three million dollars off of you. He probably made a lot more than that. Oh, I'm sure. Because it's thirty bucks. I mean, he could have he he easily sold like, half a million dollars in merch on Twitch. He makes like like half a million. Like he's like don't he's don't do this. Twitch. Yeah, he's like he quit YouTube. He's just streaming on Twitch now. He hasn't made a lot. On Twitch, Twitch, he makes how much? Tell me. I'm kidding. Merch last year. What is he doing on Twitch? I think gaming. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, but be careful. Investigate also, David Dobrik. Like, you're also not allowed to leave the I like David. So be I, I like careful. David. I met him. I think he's a sweet guy. I'm surprised he did this. And I'm surprised he's not a sweet guy. That's what I've been saying. He's fraudulent from the start. No, I don't. He's but I'm surprised people around him didn't tell him not to do this. This is very disturbing. Then, nobody gave him any shit for it, so apparently. It's crazy. It's I didn't crazy. know about it. If I knew about this, I would have called him. Like, Paul, like, applauded him. Like, great idea, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea to make money if you don't give a fuck about anything. If you're a total psychopath. Who like, like, hey, won? So you're upset about this. Investigate David Dobrik. Who won? Fuck it. Anyway, the winner is, drum roll, spiciest drama. Again, I think it was James Teddy Frash with Ethan one. Oh, oh. thank God it's not me. Oh. Tati oh. versus Jeffrey. Oh. Teddy versus Jeffrey won. Tati versus Jeffrey. You guys were the spiciest drama. That was right before shit hit the fan. Like, the Black Lives Matter, people were getting canceled for being racist. Like, you and Keem were, like, the height of the drama the summer before. Like Yeah, the Tati, the, the scope of the Tati videos, she gets so many views on her drama videos, you know? Yeah, I'm jealous. I wish I could be that, like, relevant. <laughs> well... You don't want to be relevant in the way she is, because nobody watches any of her other stuff. <laughs> All right. Seriously, like the way he speaks about Taddy, but apparently he do he'll never speak bad about woman. Whatever. She's a scammer. Yeah, her life is like ruined kind of right now. But you know, it's better to be middle of the ground, you know? Well, like, just don't do any actual scams. That's very she's, getting easy. she's getting sued for, for like defrauding her business partner. Yeah, maybe just, just don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, Tati versus Jeffrey wins with 34%. James versus 34%. in second place with 32%. Very close. H. Lee versus Keem, 26%. And then everything else was really low. David oh. Dobrik, 2.4. Nobody cares. The Snails, oh, 0.6. That's not going to care, David. Watch it. There was a huge write-in. Ethan versus Trisha. I guess that's true. We should have included that. Wait, for what? What won? Well, we were all, like, everything. <laughs> Every episode. <laughs> um, but I don't think it was top. So congratulations, Jeffrey and Tati. I think you've already both won an award, so don't be greedy. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll etch in to a win. So I know. Ian, are you still with your girlfriend? Yes. Exactly. Bachelor, ba three? bachelor, H3 Bachelor has resulted in a long term. I didn't know that and Ian and all came from <laughs> that. I mean, That's our crazy. Track record compared to the real Bachelor is like insane. It's like the real Bachelor's track record is like 5%. You need to do another one. I think so. Yeah. Not 5%. Not 5%. Not 5%. Not 5%. No. It's hard to find the but right. Like your biggest like flex is like finding me someone that like wanted to marry me like that never would have been possible ever nobody's ever wanted to marry me or even have a long term or claim as a girlfriend like this is insane i agree i mean it's only but we make dreams come true like he actually like tries to get me pregnant i don't like trick him or anything like it's insane yep dude she just said you know trisha says moses actually wants to get me pregnant i don't have to even Attempt to trick him. Uh, Lord. I wouldn't recommend tricking dudes. I think I did in the past. I don't recommend it. But really? Like, what did you do? I think it's a camera control. Oh, that's so fucked. It's fucked up, but girls do it. I'm just telling people out there. That's like, like illegal, I feel like. It's not. It's not? It should be. It should be. That's a terrible like, crime. If a girl tells you about birth control, just don't believe her. Just don't you get money. Like, just don't believe her. Um. You better put those pills in her mouth and watch her swallow them. <laughs> no, for real. You know the biggest one I used to tell people is like, yeah, I got the shot. I'm good for like three years. <laughs> and so I was only ever with That's women who awful. were on birth control when people were like, I do not want to have a baby with that man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I was like, bro, I'm not going anywhere. No gonna, like, I was like, she's on birth control. Yeah, no one's going to try and trick you back then. Dude, I can't believe you did that. That's super scummy. Oh, I, I agree. I mean, I've done like way scummier things in the past. What did you do it with? Oh my God, so many people. <laughs> You want to have babies with like, that like many people? Like, like famous people that I slept with, I definitely was like trying to like, you're like I just want that that child support? Uh, yeah, for sure. Wow. I thought that was my way to go. I thought you're gross. Like, Holy fuck, that's messed up. It's so messed up and like, it definitely didn't work. It just gave me like chlamydia, which made me infertile, so jokes on me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was bad. It backfired. It backfired big, big time. time. Yeah. I was trying to, oh my God. Do you think a lot of girls do that? Oh my God. Yeah. The guy I was trying to have a baby with like impregnated two different people. And so I was like, this might take it too, you know? Like, let me in on it. Didn't this work is so sick. Oh my God. Yeah. <sighs> oh.
I'm not sobering a moment. Oh no, like, I know. When guys are surprised, like, oh, she's on the What? I have a friend who's a very famous director. He's not my friend, but a person I know who's a very famous director. He got a porn. Well, I won't say because I can't say the word. Keep going. No, rewind. Keep going. Rewind. 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 No, he's sure? not out there. So I won't say it. I didn't know. No. Everyone, literally, people who know already figured out what you were saying. No. They don't? Okay. Yeah, anyways, just don't be surprised. Like, especially if you have money. And even if you don't have money, like, I guess, still... I guess if I was dating and wealthy or famous or whatever, then maybe I'd be more paranoid, but I never even thought about it before. It's a thing that so many girls do. And I know so many That's people. That's horrifying. Are you kidding me? Like, wait, wait, he has like nine baby mamas. Like, dude. Yeah, but you, at that point, you put on the condom. I just don't even know why she's saying all of this. Exactly. Did you ever put a hole in a condom or anything like that? Mm -hmm. No, everybody's doing that. I've never used condom. Using condoms, but a like, child to trick someone. Yeah, this is like psychotic behavior. Really? People are so fake to just be like, oh, yeah, we're not inside you. God, this world is crazy. It's pretty crazy. Moses did not fall for my tricks, though. He did not fall for my tricks. I, I think one time he asked me, I think I might when I was on, like, high or something. I was like, yeah, I have a shot. But he, he's a pulled out. He's like, I don't trust this bitch. I don't even trust pull out. Like, pulling out, I've learned in sex ed, but pulling out is only 50% effective. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Pulling out, it's like, yeah. you're in raw. There's pre jizz and everything. Yeah, I don't think that was, I don't think that's, yeah. I wouldn't trust a pull out with somebody. I love this conversation. Why do you want to get pregnant? I ain't pulling out of shit. Right, right, that, yeah, for sure. But also, there's a chance that you don't pull out in time because you have to like, because like, you know, it's not you can't always get a perfect pull out, a perfect dismount. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's a partial dismount. <laughs> right, right. It's just not safe. <laughs> yeah. It's not a safe. Also, like STDs and stuff like that. I don't want STDs as much as I don't want a, a child with somebody I don't like. Right, right. And then you're stuck with David Spade. Like I, I don't know the person. Oh before, Jesus but he got Christ. Playmate pregnant, and she lives in like Minnesota now, and she like, has a baller ass house because he has to pay child support mm -hmm. like twice a year. Don't know him, but that's what I read. Kids are amazing though. Hopefully, you're like I'm so even though I nutted in your mom, I think she's a fucking weirdo. And I wish fucking I hell. Her. Okay, wait. Time out for just a minute. Time out for just a minute. My Eugenia video, I think, is ready to post. Is this true? I have no idea what is salvageable of the, about this video. I have, I, this entire thing may be muted. It may be muted. The entire thing may be muted. Grandfather. Well, this part is muted. Well, this part is muted. Let me copy and paste this part. All right. How dumb. I mean, of course the dance parts are going to be muted. I understand. Pin. I mean, this is still so... <laughs> She's so... Oh, she chooses Selena. Oh, okay. The parts in between are. But the dancing parts are. Um, okay. Eugenia, you slayed that. <laughs> I'm like out of breath. Okay, every part except for the dancing. You slayed that, Eugenia. Okay. It's called message. Okay. That's fine. I'll deal with that. It's better than I thought. Okay, anyway, back to this. So you're more than once? Yes. I love you. People do come around. The guy I was talking about, that I don't really know personally, he's not really that close of a friend. He did come around and like, he at first didn't want to do with a child. Now he had to get a relationship with a child. So I think over time. It's not really the child's fault that you weren't idiot. But then sometimes they don't come around. Like, you know, the sort of fact like, Trisha is talking so like carelessly or carelessly about like weaponizing a child to like lock someone in a relationship is terrifying, especially considering she has one eye. I'm not saying anything. But I'm saying something. Or he's doing the dad that just does not want to do the kid. That's, really that's not okay. I'm not okay. Yeah, don't do that. Honestly, well, guys, I, I learned a lot here today. Everybody, be careful out there. Yeah, no, for, no, but for real, like, how are guys still so stupid? In this Zach's gonna get a girl pregnant for sure. <laughs> Everybody here's taken. That's good. I like that. But Zach is gonna get like. He's with a girl. He's with an adult. I think he moved on. He's. <gasps> really? This is yeah. crazy. Zach's a traveling salesman. Zach's the worst. No, he's not. What does she hate Zach he's for? He's a narcissist. So. But he wasn't exploited. You were. Oh wait, he was not an exploitative narcissist. He was like a self-confident narcissist. Anyway, let's continue. How ironic. We have a new. What's our next category? Uh, it's biggest fake friendship. Biggest Maybe. fake friendship. Wait, they, they were like, there's like two more categories. I'm pretty sure this is like the fourth one after they said that, but all right, whatever. Biggest fake friendship. Okay, let me write this one down. Biggest fake friendship. Jesus. Are Ethan and Trisha nominated? Fake friendship. <laughs> yeah, we were on there. Oh, oh they, yeah. they made the joke for me. So. We're really good. I don't think so, but sometimes you get the vibe that you think so. Yeah, you know what I think it is in comparison to? Like, when you do trick someone into having a baby with you, and eventually they come around and it becomes a family. That's what happened here? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. You know, we kind of like, okay, we'll fake it or whatever. Did you just hear that? Did you just hear the statement she said? Let me play that again. This woman is disgusting. Yeah. Biggest fake friendship. <laughs> yeah, we were on there. Oh, we are? 
I don't think we're fake though. We're really good. At- I don't think so, but sometimes it gets reminded you think so. Yeah, you know what I think it is in comparison to like when you do trick someone into having a baby with you, and eventually they come around and it becomes a family. That's what happened here. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. You know, we kind of like okay, we'll fake it or whatever, and then like now. That was never my intention to come out here and fake anything. Just to be clear. Can I just say I dated Moses to rub it in your guys' face, and now we're freaking engaged in the house. Well, I'm glad you said that, which <laughs> explains why there was so much friction. <laughs> that was early on. That was early on. Stupid. You dated Moses to rub my face. Oh, I was so excited to come back. We are like when you trick someone into having a baby with you and then eventually they come around you. That was me dating Moses to rub it in your face. Disgusting. Disgusting. On who? On your plans, I guess. Not- I know, I can be like, ah, I fucked your brother. <laughs> Stupid. I mean, I still can say that on the daily. Gross. Stop. Not inside. Stop. But don't have to trick him, so you should applaud me for that. Consensual. All right, applaud <laughs> Consensual. We <laughs> should applaud you for having consensual sex. Is what she just said. Is what she just said. Did you catch that? She should be applauded because she's now with Moses having consensual. <laughs> Biggest fake friendship. The vlog yeah. squad. That was probably really good. Yeah. Okay, wait, let me write this down. So, biggest fake friendship, vlog squad, frenemies. We make before before this whole thing is burned to the ground. James Charles and literally anyone. James Charles and everyone. <laughs> okay, who do we think is going to win this one? Who do we think is going to win this one? I have no idea. Actually, That's a small category. frenemies we'll win. The vlog squad because they love them. They're white. I don't know that that factor. You're that. Jewish, so you're like our minority in this, so we kind of have a. I think people are going to vote for us, and then what was the other one? James Charles and literally anyone. That one might win too. I mean, that's the truest, probably. <laughs> I don't think we have a fake friendship, but people are going to vote for us for the meme, I think. We started, I think we started that, that way. And I was... never faked anything, Trisha. Frenemies? <laughs> or or vlog... About... I mean, I would vote for Vlog Squad. Faking, liking each other, weird shit. I fake a little bit of everything. That's fine, I'm just saying I didn't. Okay, drum roll. Biggest fake friendship goes to... Wow, with a resounding... Frenemies? This is the biggest margin Frenemies. by far. Frenemies. At 72.9%. James and literally... Anyone... Oh my god. James? James won with 70%. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and Trisha, I'm so flattered that we came in last place wow. with 12.5%. Aw, people know. The- that really surprised me. And then yeah. Vlog Squad even beat us out at 137 But James really absolutely <laughs> smashed this guy. Actually, thank you guys for voting us last. Yeah. I'm actually touched by that. They can see past it. They're like, that's a lot. That's really nice. Thank you. And the we need an award. We need a- Here, this one's for... Here, I'm going to steal one from some... Okay. We should keep ours. James, we have two awards for you. Oh, have one. Shit. The yeah. biggest... Um, the fakest friend of 2020. He so is. Everyone's his best friend. We are best friends behind the scenes. Until they lose Koala. Right. James, we love you. This is an anti- that is a big margin. Right. Yeah. Okay, and then we have, uh, what we've we got two more. Two more. So the next one Bitch, have... they've been saying two more categories for the past hour. AB looks so sexy here. But, like, they've been saying that for a long time now. Come account on. Account ban of the year. Oh, this one is really good. <laughs> account know, ban really good of the year. This sucks because, like, when you don't win, that just means, like, you're not relevant. Like, no one cares about the boss. Why David's relevant? Oh, like, no you lost your Instagram. Like... Somebody, some people lost, like, their entire livelihood. Right, Instagram was kind of like flailing. It's not that big of a deal. And I was at 2.2 million for four years, so I was shadow banned anyways. Right, because you're posting like your titties. Did you help me get, by the way, my back pronouns just Well, you said they were going to bring it back in 30 days. Someone told me today because I They didn't bring it back. This is really good. Don't you have connection? But you have connection. Uh, well, you said they'd be back in 30 days, so I was like, okay, they're not going to reverse that. But I can send an email. But if they ban, I think they're they're clamping down hard on people who promote OnlyFans. But if I was they- promoting OnlyFans. You know what it was? I promoted Adam and Eve, but like, I didn't know that was like the because I stopped promoting OnlyFans. They gave me warnings. I was like, you know, let me stop it on Instagram, and so I stopped. And then the Adam and Eve, I guess you can't. It's anything sex related. You can't promote. I'll email them, but I think they're fucked because like there's people like Belle. I mean, she was. was. They didn't bring her back. Really raunchy. Like mine's not raunchy anymore. Like I mm. literally yeah, yeah. the lingerie of Adam and Eve, and I was like, fuck. But I, I made sure my nipples were covered. Like, I'm pretty. I was pretty good about it. But it's fine. I'll write an email. Trisha Paytas backup is my second one. You follow me on there, and you do not. I didn't know you had a backup. Well, you know, fuck me, follow me. Sure. That's where we had to announce our engagement. I got deleted the week of our engagement. Was oh, was that the big yeah, announcement? Yeah. Your because uh, that would have been a great post. I know it was a good post. Like eighty thousand on my backup account, eighty thousand likes. So. Oh, eighty thousand. Yeah. That's a really good way to launch your backup because people are like, oh, it's Trisha. Right. Banger. Right. I was trying to get verified on that. Did one. you know that there's like a there's like a ton of TikTok videos of that clip where you bet where I make fun of your vocal fry? I, I mean, to be fair, Trisha's backup account I feel like is more popular now than what her original one was because it was kind of created in like the aftermath of Frenemies, so it was more of an active audience on there. So I mean. For better or for worse. See it like so many really? times where you go, mm, and I go, right. Mm. People love us on TikTok. Of course, I know yeah, I see this a lot. It makes me really happy. I always like it. I go, sick. You used to have TikTok. You gave up on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, it's people so do hard. love them on TikTok. Good, good TikToks, and it's just so hard. Not me. I just throw up whatever. It's like the name of the game on there. I just like throw up anything. I, I just went, randomly went on Twitch and Adam is streaming. Well, thank you for being here. I mean, whatever. I, I want to make more TikToks. It's just tough, man. Did you see me singing Hebrew this morning on TikTok? No. I was very Oh, God. 
Yeah, they had like a hundred thousand when they kind of came on here. Oh, what? Uh, what were the comments though? The comments must have been. No way. Nope. Yeah. Read me the comments right now. I'm pulling this up. There's no, there's no way that everybody's not clowning on you. I'm looking. I don't believe it. Hang on. Every, Wait. Be oh my god. I should actually edit my Eugenia video caption to say that I'm live right now, actually. Wait. And I'll be like. I'm live right now. I just realized I should probably do that jesus okay there we go do 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 pin this is the kind of respectful compassionate reunion thank you guys okay back to this what is going on yeah oh god trisha's tiktoks okay I'm gonna <laughs> skip this i promise to be with you forever and be like your peace Whatever. Let's do the cancellation. Everybody's waiting for the cancellation. Dan, you don't get. Dan, you, you get so frustrated. Or whatever. Slack. A coin ban of the year. Okay, start over. I wasn't ready. I was climbing down. Count Ben. Okay, so Trisha. Trisha Paytas Instagram. Trisha. Bell Delphine. Massive Instagram. Bell Delphine. 18 YouTube. Why was my YouTube account terminated with no warning slash no strikes for both sexual content? Yes, from the loud and promote sexual content. Doctor Disrespect. This one's huge. We'll get through this. Okay. Doctor Disrespect. I have. I don't know about you, but I have no idea who that is. Doctor Disrespect. Okay. Oh, they're gonna say Doctor Dre, and I was like, yes. This, this one was announced. Huge. That he is permanently, forever banned. Nikocado, avocado. Nikocado. I am so hungry right now that whatever that is on the table, I would I would challenge him to eat it all. Uh, Nikocado, avocado. I could probably finish all of this. Instagram. <laughs> Not Nikocado and Trisha losing both their things. Lol. Leafy. Leafy. Twitch. Whoa. Am I already banned? <laughs> yeah, I'm already banned. Oh, uh, he should win. That's a good quote. Yeah, Leafy is definitely. Great editing a... on this. Honestly, give whoever this was a raise. Whoever had this. Yeah. This is really good editing. I'm like. Thank you. Yeah. Like, it's really entertaining yeah. with the. Yeah. With the so, I like that. So, account ban ideas is a huge prestigious award. For me, it's got to be between Dr. Disrespect and Leafy. I did not know Dr. Disrespect, and I barely know Leafy, but I knew about Leafy. I, I agree with Trisha here. I did not know about Dr. Disrespect. Because, like, those are huge. Like, these guys. Yeah. Leafy's come for me. He called me a piggy a bunch of times. Yeah, well. Leafy called her a piggy a couple times, she said. Everyone's saying mukbang stream. I trust me. I literally went on Uber Eats. There is not a single place open right now. Not a single fucking place open right now. I feel like everywhere is closing so early. Anyways, what we doing now? I haven't at all day. I'm so hungry. All right, drum roll. Account fan of the year 2020. The winner by a very close margin. Is Leafy! Wow, Leafy won. Leafy, who lost it all. He was banned on YouTube and Twitch. Wow. Well, that's his that's he's pretty much, yeah, he's won. pretty much off. He's like Alex Jones. Like, see ya. You know what I mean? This is another reason everyone needs to get married. So you have stability as an influencer. Like, if I fall off, this one has a degree. Yeah, but what's the chance? Okay, he has a degree, but does he have a job? Does he have a job? Does Mr. Moses have a job? Quick, answer that. Yeah, so Leafy doesn't marry Bedby. How's he gonna marry anyone with a career? <sighs> Shit, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Leafy uh, is a winner. Congratulations to Leafy. Dr. Disrespect, very close second. Very close. Oh. But 23.5%. Which I think makes sense because Leafy lost like everything. Dr. Disrespect is streaming on YouTube at least. Yeah. Trisha, you came in third. Close third. 21.5%. <laughs> my Instagram that was shadow banned. I was like, poor Trisha. We had a write in Paris Hilton and uh, Gabby DiMartino. Paris uh, Hilton? Oh, Perez. They banned those. Yeah, you can't. No, get his mom create one and his sister create one under like Prez the News and they banned those too. I was like, I don't know anything about it, but don't ask. Congratulations, Leafy. We'll definitely be getting you an award. Best band creator of 2020. You may not have any accounts, but you will have this award. That's something? You may not have a career Did he have or any account? income. Didn't he disappear, though? He disappeared for a while. Yeah, he came back. Oh. No and way. then apparently he made another account where he's, he tried to do a Keemstar thing where he's like, a company hired me to do this, and you oh. just like banned. Oh, but that's good for me. Like, you're like my insurance. So if I get banned, I'm like, I'm just a host on the A-Street podcast channel. Why would you get banned? I don't know. I can literally don't do anything. No one cares about me anymore. Yeah. Food. yeah, don't worry about it. Um, but that's why. Well, it didn't work. You got banned. And I keep this as my job security. That's how we're going to be. Excellent. We love it. And now, our, our, I think our biggest... And Trisha fact, says, I keep frenemies as, like, my work security. That didn't last very long. Category. So here we are at our final category, the biggest one, the most hotly anticipated. What was the final one? Wait. What was 
category of the night. What was the what biggest the one? Category again? This is most dramatic. Most dramatic. Most dramatic. Obviously, Trisha wins this one. Okay. Nominees for this category. Some of the first nominees. Most. There was, I mean, a stiff competition this year. It was. It was. Let's go ahead and review the uh, nominees, please, and thank you. Let's do it. Trisha obviously wins. Most dramatic creator. Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline Hill. Austin. Austin. Gabby Hanna. Gabby. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. <laughs> Trisha <laughs> Paytas. James Charles. James Charles. <laughs> Jeffrey Star. Star. These are your nominees. Wow. Oh my god, this is like the record of the year. Like the album of the year of the Grammys. Um, this is definitely going to Trisha. I gotta say, I think you're a shoe in because that competition doesn't look that stiff. Yeah. I think this is definitely Trisha. <laughs> you know, I took a leaf out of your book recently, and I, or I think you know, but I won like You all took a leafy out of her book? For David Courtney. I was like, fuck this guy. I'm gonna fuck this guy. This guy's such a it's dude. It's not beef to start. He's yeah. not super relevant. Maybe start with someone like a little more popular. Why? He's popular. Not popular enough. We're gonna get behind it. You'd even more views. Where the most viewed episode was me on the BFF, so. They were so anyway, let's go. <laughs> most dramatic. Let's get a drum roll, please, people. Most dramatic creator. Trisha wins. And the winner is. Trisha. By an overwhelming majority, 47.1%. Trisha Cameron! <laughs> Wow. Really? Bitch, not the confetti. One, there it is. Oh Most dramatic creator of the year. Wow. They love you. They really love you. And we have a very own frenemy style. Not this. Not this. Not this. Oh Rhinestone. Oh Trisha, to quote what you said about Dixie earlier, this is going to be the only award you ever win. Present it to you. We're going to have to get this engraved for Trisha Paytas, oh. most dramatic creator of 2020. Congratulations. Oh wow. wow. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this year. Oh, my 2020 God. 2020 Steamies have been an absolute pleasure. Congratulations oh. to all our winners. Congratulations, Trisha. Yeah, and uh, right. congratulations to you guys. We made it out of 2020. Let's all go have a great year. I'm your host, Stephen Klein. Trisha Paytas. All right. right. Ta-ta. Thanks for watching. Oh, my God. Y'all, we did it. We did it. That was two hours of frenemies yeah i wonder if she has the i wonder if she has it still i wonder if she still has the award well that was episode 15 oh my goodness that one was fun